Well, hello there. How is everybody doing tonight? Mmm. I felt like I wanted to be a little bit spicy tonight and uh, wear some yellow. What's up, Raz? And Darien? Yo, dude. I'm still, uh, still waking up a little bit here. <sighs> She man, hero. Yo, what's up? I think we gotta get a little. We got a little, little bit more upbeat music in here. I'm trying to, trying to wake up. Put on mic up. What's we do here? Chill, lo-fi, hip-hop beats. This one sounds promising. Let's try that one out. PP keyboard to build today. Let's go. Timmy, what the frick do you mean by that? Congrats on your kid. Can't wait to see the gender reveal party. <laughs> uh, I will have you know that K Rizzy sent me that joke. Uh, I did not culminate from my brain. So you can talk to him about that. What's up, Mr. Cuppo? Yo, that's a sick Kirby emote. Where's that from? Hey, do you guys, um, do you guys remember when I was, uh, well, I wouldn't even want to say remember when I was a Twitch noob because I still am. I still have no idea how to uh, how to work Twitch, but um, I just have really smart people around me. Um, but I, <laughs> if you guys have been following me for uh, a while now, then you'll uh, you'll remember the time that I added a bunch of Twitch emotes because I saw them being used on other streams, <laughs> and then I think it was either John or Raz came in and said. Those are already built into Twitch. You don't need to get those ones approved and added. So I don't know why I randomly thought of that, but uh, yeah, that did happen. Mr. Ryan, when is your next giveaway? I have something nice to pass you. What up, Zach? Yo, dude, giveaways can happen any freaking time. Dude, I was talking to K Thrizzy, and uh, uh, is he correct in a sense that you literally live like one street over from me, and you haven't come over and said hi? I'm a, I'm a little, you know, I'm a little, I'm a little hurt. The Kirby emote is from Emiru's chat. She's like a cosplay streamer who does League a lot. Ooh, interesting. That's pretty sick. Skincare. What's up, GZ Prime? Yo. What about skincare? Should we do the, the recommendation of the week? Oh, Quinn's got it too? Oh, I should have known. Ryan, we're in sync. I put, I just put botanical round one on my Trinity. Great set on silver, but sick on the green house too. Yo, that's really funny you say that because the board that I, <laughs> anytime you're free, man. Yo, all right, I'm gonna hit you up after this. Um, I, uh, oh shit. I brought, I brought my Ibis home from work to show you guys because it's the same, the same layout as um do you like the house what up Quava? <laughs> uh what up Quava? um dude I, I i absolutely love the house i'll go over the house um i freaking brought the ibis home from work to show you guys because it's the same layout as the board i'm building tonight and i wanted to show you a little comparison so maybe uh i maybe do like a five minute intermission at some point at the end if you guys want to see it but i did bring it home I took an L. Yo. Ibis with the Sumi Lat. Dude, the Sumi Lat's right here. What are you talking about? Get out of town. Yo, busy Timmy redeem typing test. Oh, let's go, buddy. What do you want me to type on? Get the frick. Do you really want me to get to chair stream for 10 minutes in the first 18 minutes of my stream? I will go get the Ibis. I, I, I specifically brought the Ibis home to show you guys. I didn't even have a TX bag or anything at work. So I literally walked out of the office holding it in my hand. I was so scared. I was like trying not to hit on any doorways or elevators. <laughs> it's in my car right now. Go get it now. Frick. I'm going out for coffee in a second. All right, well, wait till Timmy's back then. I will get you that Ibis typing test. There's also this giant, dude, I used to love Kirby growing up. Love Kirby. What up, Jeff? My dog. Yo, my do Jeff, you're my dog. Let's go, bud. Um, Speaking of which, Timmy, I uh, I worked from home half the day today because my uh, 
my quarantine about going into the office it was up today. So this is my first time going into the office in a month. Um, so my IBIS has been stuck there. But um, the board that I used to work from home today is still within arm's reach. So I won't chair stream for that one. Oh, it's a hefty boy though. So I was, uh, I was using this to, to work from home today. Um, not, not quite a numpad, but close, but very close. <laughs> Please restart from the beginning. I just got here. <laughs> Don't worry. You didn't miss anything. I already did the IBIS typing test and put it away. What's your Tesla's plate number? Get out of town. It's a, uh, <laughs> you know, it's funny. I was, uh, who was I hanging out with? I think I was hanging out with, uh, Midori, um, uh, Tony, Perry, and a couple others. And they were telling me to put, uh, Lowell's Thacks as my license plate, but there's not, there's too many characters, right? Cause you can have a license plate. You could have seven, but Lowell's Thacks is eight. So it would have to be. L U L Z T H X, but then everyone would think it's Lowell's Thanks, so freaking I gave up on it. <laughs> Not that I would be that guy making his Twitch name his license plate, that's pretty cringe. Yeah, it couldn't be me. <sighs> Just run to your car, dude. It's literally, I'm on the fourth floor. I'd have to go out in the elevator, down actually six floors because it's subtraining parking. I'd have to run all the way over there, get it from my car, come back. It'd be a fiasco. What coffee is that, dude? So. You guys know uh, Gondo, Gondolindrum. He makes uh, some pretty boss PCBs. He actually made the PCB in, uh, I wanna say the 378. I believe he made the PCB for the 378. Um, so Gondo, uh, Gondo is a saint, yo. So he roasted, uh, he, he went to the actual farm. So he lives uh, in Brazil. And he went to the actual farm where they where they grow them. He purchased them uh, for me and a couple other buddies. We called it the coffee group buy, and uh, he roasted them himself and then shipped them out to me. So this was made with his beans, and it is pretty damn fire. And if you guys watched my um, my <laughs> my stories at all while I was in Milan, why isn't this focusing? Come on. In uh, when I was in Milan, you'll know that this is a pretty funny cup. I'm doing ASMR now. <laughs> yes, he did. We don't deserve Gondo. What a freaking legend. I know, dude. <laughs> Gondo is the most helpful person ever. Yo. Mm. I need coffee so bad. But uh, this is the Trinity XT. Love this board. Built with um, retool blacks. Sounds super spicy. Really, really fun to type on. I feel very productive with this board. And then we got, uh, show you guys the side profile there. Pretty cool. Yo, what up, bitter seeds? Let's go, buddy. Coffee cup typing test? Yo, I have way too many. I have so many coffee cups, they don't even fit in my cupboard anymore. And then there's the bottom. Uh, super, super uh, clean bottom there. No markings, no branding, nothing. Pretty slick. A little birdie told me you have coasters in the works. Oh my, that means that little birdie is uh, spreading uh, spreading rumors. I'm tired of rumors starting. What song was that again? Was that Lindsay Low? No, who was that? Was that Lindsay Lohan? <laughs> I was not spreading rumors. Okay, bud. Okay, looks like I can't trust you with nothing. You actually like this cup. Do you know what's at the bottom of this cup? Champagne Stevie. Chirp, chirp. Wow. You should have Jeff Leopard retooled on, ah. Uh, you should have retooled on Alu. It's hard to beat. Yes. What did, Jeff, what do you have? I'm not really happy with my Trinity. I need to rebuild. Should have listened to you. Yes. Um, this is one of those boards that I built it up and I was so uh, happy with the build that, um, I didn't rebuild it. So this is the first build. Something also kind of cool. Check out this uh, keycap puller. <laughs> I want to say this came with my Cherry um, KA 1953. So you got a Cherry keycap puller. Kind of cool. 
Let's see. Yeah, this is aluminum. We got cherry retool on aluminum. Ho! Ho! What's funny about the cup, it's got a little uh, glass turtle in the bottom, but you can't see it until you drink it. <laughs> Yo, JJ. Wait, I definitely just had my nine month sub anniversary last week. I rolled everyone back a month because um, I was gone. Uh, I was out of, out of town in Europe, if you uh, if you recall. So I, I took everyone's sub anniversaries and I, I rolled them back a month because last month didn't count. So that's why. Is that from 1953? It is. It is. Dude. <laughs> you can roll back. Wow, dude, you guys are so freaking gullible. Get out of town. <laughs> KS3 yellows, they're kind of lifeless. Yeah. You should rebuild for sure. I'm at 11, so that really means... No, it's a joke. Come on. Dude. <sighs> I had a... Um... Am I the only person that this happens to where, um, do you guys ever, it only happens to me when I'm drying my hair. Okay. And I don't know why, but I'll be drying my hair like this. And then all of a sudden, poof, like a stiff, I get like a pinched nerve. It happens sometimes if I'm doing bench, but mostly when I'm drying my hair, I get a pinched nerve like in the middle of my back. And then I can't, I can't turn for like two days. Does that ever happen to you guys? Cause like, it happened to me today. And um, so that's probably why you're gonna see me going like this. <laughs> Back muscles too big, shoot. Might could do PT for that. I know, I, I, I think it's because my posture is bad. So all my, my muscles are just bound up on the nerves. And so when I go like this, I pull down. Yeah, I think it just like inflames one of the nerves. But anyways, I do have a hairdryer. Dude, it even happens sometimes when I'm using a hairdryer. Any like motion where I put my arms above my head can like, it like triggers like a pinched nerve. Anyway, it's quite annoying. Get a Dyson wall driver for your head. Then you don't have to pull any muscles. Dude, who had that? Tony, was it Tony or Perry? I think Tony, is it Perry? Perry has the, the Dyson uh, hairdryer. It's like $500. <laughs> Does it happen when you OHP? I'm not even gonna ask what OHP is because I don't know what it is, but I don't wanna know, I think. For real, man, I had some shoulder issues, went to PT, got a simple regimen to maintain no more problems. Interesting. Yeah, I need to do that. Um, Cause it, it like, it's pretty bad. Like if I'm driving in the car, I have to like, oh, overhead, overhead press. Um, weird enough, it doesn't happen when I overhead press, only bench. If I'm doing bench with like dumbbells, That'll happen, or if I'm drying my hair. It's like if I pull down on my head like this, it like triggers a nerve back here. It's the weirdest thing. Anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there if you guys see me kind of going like this today. <laughs> Cause I can't, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. I like that sweater, it looks nice. Yo, thank you. I kind of uh, went out on a limb and got a yellow sweater. So uh, hopefully I can pull it off. <laughs> stretching would help. Yeah, I'm pretty bad about stretching. You need to stretch before you shower. Who would have thought? You need a neck neck worker outer. Like who ne who has a neck worker outer? outer? Can't even freaking say that. You need the iron neck, dude, right? Back muscles too big. Dude, my freaking, it's not even my muscles. It's like the nerves are pissed off. You should get a hyper volt. I have a, um... It's not the hypervolt. What's the other one? Uh, it's the other one. I forgot what it's called, but but I, I do use that. Theragun. That's the one. Yep, 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 yep. Iron neck. Oh, there's actually a thing called the iron neck. Yo, Plurkeebs. Peace, love, unity. What's up? Wow, that thing looks interesting. Imagine if I brought that to the gym. Would people make fun? Oh my god, that's expensive. Holy. Should I bring that to the gym and put it on the machine? <laughs> Would people make fun of me? Hi, Quapa. Yo. The answer is to bench more. What's up, Dean? Dean would know better than, than, than me, huh? 
I need a bench more. I know. I think I think my problem is I go in like spurts where I'll like I'll push myself super hard for like a month and then I'll take like a month off and then I'll push myself super hard for a month again. I think that's when I get injuries. So you guys can see the cup here. There's a little there's a little turtle in there. I like turtles. But uh, anyways, so I'll put this put this one away for now. Whoa. What TKL is that? That was the uh, Trinity XT by uh, Heine and Reconsiderate. Doctor Who showed one with a hedgehog in it with whiskey. Really? I'm gonna have to tank this then because I'm. I think we're gonna have to do two coffees tonight. What are you guys typing on tonight? I'm always curious what you guys are typing on. Look at that turtle in there. He has the one with the hedgehog and one with the bunny. Dude, I wonder if he has the same one I have. Is it the exact same? Because the, the store that I bought this from in Milan had a hedgehog and they had a bunny. Ryan, I'm gonna test the stream alerts. Don't mind the several next alerts. Yo, <laughs> this is not a test. The turtle is drowning, bro. I need I need to help him. It's a, it's a sea turtle, okay? There he is. He's fine. Don't worry about him. Wow, John, thank you for the gifted monthly Prime subscription to Jane. All right, what are you guys typing on tonight? Sev always 7B because it's the only board I'll ever own, most likely. You know what's funny was, um, if you guys watched my stream before my Italy trip, um, you it was the uh, 7B that I built for, or Sandy built for herself, rather, from, uh, there's a white one. And, um, <laughs> damn, we got some spicy builds in here tonight. All right, I'm gonna go through all these, because I'm curious. Um, <laughs> I think it's the gifted sub that doesn't work. I think that was the only alert that does not work was the gifted sub. And it's the only one that I, it's like hard to test, I think. Um, anyways, uh, we built her 7V and I was typing on it today. And dude, the 7V slaps. Like it, that's a sick board. I'm typing on a 7V. I want to sell it or trade it though. Oh, how come you don't like it, Quapa? Luna 60, nice. 2.0 ad, baby. Thanks to Darian. Is, yo, 2.0 ad cannot go wrong. Where can I get that glass? I bought this glass in um, Milan, actually, uh, on my trip. So I don't know if you can get it over here. Razor tournament, nice. 1.2 OG, key 65, key 65. Wow, I have not typed on a key 65. Do you guys like it? I heard the key 65 was um, actually a lot better than people expected. So I heard good things about the key 65. Plateless F1 with OP blacks. Wow. Jelly Epoch. Dude, you guys are typing on a bunch of boards I haven't even used. Never typed on a Jelly Epoch either. KBD 67 Lite. I heard that was also really good for the price. Um, do they have one with a pickle? They do not. They do not, Tommy. You better not commission one. <laughs> Soju time? Oof. Maybe I'll go get some soju, huh? No one's redeemed anything. I don't think I don't think I'm forced to uh, to get drunky tonight. The copy makes it look like the turtle is surrounded by sand. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so, huh? Or like a moat. Yo, Sam, you is you. What's up? Thanks for the follow. I might have to try for a Kaze, dude. I'd probably be pretty disappointed if you didn't. <laughs> I really want the house. Nice, nice. Yo, Urban Lime, just subscribed. Um, I'm typing on a bias right now, I guess. What is, you can't say you're typing on a bias and not tell us what your bias is. Come on, dude. Orion, okay. I have not typed on an Orion or a devastating TKL. Man, have I been out of the game for too long? Soon it'll be a PC Kaze, yo. Just built my new, dude. Camara 65, I've, I've, ooh, what's up, Anna? Have I? Yes, I built a Camaro 65. I built uh, Krieger's actually. 
Vega, but I do need me a frog. I cannot wait to build my frog. I think that's going to be sometime next week. Going to give all my Ryan, my money to Ryan so he can go to Italy again? Yo. <laughs> that definitely was not a, uh, not a fun trip for the wallet. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Redeem drink water. That's a good one. I'm going to go get some water. Uh, I like my KVD 8X ink PC well enough, but another PC board is needed. Yo, I, th I would hope that it'd be quite the upgrade to the KVD 8X. Space 80 Proto. Yo, that's pretty snazzy. All the biases should have a bias on the weight. Wait, does it not have a bias on the weight? Krieger's so lit. Dude, Krieger's pretty stacked, not gonna lie. <laughs> My bias didn't have an option for custom engraving? Really? I thought they all I thought they all had one. I thought that was the whole point of the bias. Oh, it was a revision from round one. Yo. Freaking Frostfire. What's up, dude? With the prime for 10 months. Are you a Teemo main? Yo. Freaking A. I gotta solder with it. This is gonna be a long solder tonight, too. And I gotta solder with the Teemo hat. Alright, dude. Are you a Teemo main? Uh, I only played Teemo. Sorry. <clears throat> I only used to play Teemo when I felt like being super toxic. Uh, I, I played him when they uh, when AP Teemo was like super strong, where like you literally stack him AP and then you run over one mushroom and your health is at like 20%. Um, but uh, I wouldn't necessarily call myself a Teemo main. <laughs> I think that's pretty toxic. It's a V1.5. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. I always thought I thought all the biases had a uh, had a bias. <laughs> I'm so bummed that the balance in Iron Man, Hot Rod, Red, and Gold was... Ooh, is it really? Only a Proto? Let's pull up the Geek Hack, yeah? I uh, I did see Apiary building that one, and it, it looked pretty damn spicy. Yeah, Apiary built it. I did see that. I did see that. Oh, I see. Here's the, uh, here's the Geek Hack for the board we're building tonight uh, by Cannon Keys. Um, I'm gonna go over everything um, on this geek hack. I believe all of this is up to date. Um, maybe if maybe Anna could confirm. Um, but uh, check out the IC versus the GB. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I see. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, so we're in the. Uh, let's see. Geek hack marketplace. There we go. Okay, so that was the IC. This is the GB. All right, so we're gonna be going off of the GB thread uh, once I get to the build. So this will be the one we're going over. But uh, yeah, I do not see the red, the red and gold Iron Man. But we do have gray lilac. Um, I believe the one I'm building tonight is the one I'm building tonight black lilac, or is that the gray lilac? I wouldn't pin you as a mushroom type of guy. I hate mushrooms, <laughs> but I like playing Teemo. You now have quite a handful of green boards. See, it's funny because red was always my favorite color. And um, ever since I got the Finder Works Aburaya, green has been my favorite color. Dark gray lilac. Ooh, okay, nice, nice. I'm thinking maybe white gold so I can put GMK Maestro on it. it should be a perfect match. I think so, huh? That color you have will be available. Got it, got it. Okay, cool. So the one we're building tonight um, will actually be available during the GB. So if you do fancy purple, um, this might be uh, your ticket. Here you got another green board coming soon. Yo, what's up, Enigma? Speaking of which, I did just get the Vertigo in. Uh, probably going to build that one next week as well. Man, I have a bunch of boards to build. Uh, but I do have a green, um, a green board coming from Enigma soon. Honestly, pretty upset that the red board is not in this run. The red did look super spicy. Shake my head, Aburaya is just a Dallas clone. Yo, dude, Aburaya was just ahead of its time. All right, Wood Wood is just ahead of his time. But uh, let me go grab, I got a, a water redemption and a Teemo hat redemption. So uh, let, me, uh, let me go grab those real quick.
Oof. All right. I have another board to send you soon to add to the building queue. Yo, you just do not let up, huh? Mm. So for those of you that um, are, are straggling in, I do, uh, I do have a kink. Not that type of kink. A kink in my neck right now. So um, I'm going to be kind of like going like this a little bit. <laughs> Get out of here, JJ. Chair stream. Okay, buddy. Red got the least votes during the IC, followed by black purple. You know, it's funny. I feel like I feel like that happens a lot. <laughs> That's actually one of the things that happened with um well kind of similar happened with Serica. You guys remember GMK Serica way back in the day? Like based on the renders and everything, no one no one really wanted it. They didn't make very many kits. This is Brown 1 Serica. And then uh, it shipped and people were like, oh wow, like that actually looks good. And then Serica prices were like through the roof. Ryan really opening up, wow. Red boards are so underrated. Don't make me go get my red boards. How do I give you a board to build for me? You talk to John, the almighty John. John. Ryan, a kinky guy. Okay, buddy. Psst. Hey kid, wanna buy some drugs? Yo, what up, Microdose Alpha? Dude, uh, remind me to... <laughs> Uh, there's a pretty funny baggie that was included with the with the house that I think you would like microdose alpha <laughs> Don't forget the random keyboard typing test redemption as well. So he wanted the ibis He wanted the ibis, uh, but it's in my car right now And I don't feel like doing a 15 minute chair stream. So uh, at the end, I'm gonna grab the ibis um, And uh, I will show you guys that Julian has the board that you need to buy Ryan go buy it. What? How about you be a little bit more vague? What is it? Yo, what's up, Nixon? Dude, it's been a minute. How you doing? How you doing? The red one? From our other homie. You know. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sneakbox Ava is shipping next month. Yo! New New Red is best red. Oof. I do have a red New New coming, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Julian got one too. You guys can twin. Rhymes with. Oh, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. The red Nunu is super nice. Um, you know what I've been obsessed with lately is um, I'm gonna move this for a second. These liquid IVs. They do have kind of a little bit of a little bit of sugar, so I uh, I try not to have one every day. But um, I have I have been digging these a lot. Oh. Don't get on the don't get on the keyboard. Matrix red is the best red. Yo, I would probably agree. Red Jane. If you have not seen a red Jane in person, I think it might be the best red. I won the raffle for the house. Dude, I was so I'm sure there's no shenanigans at play, but I did see a ton of people that I know and I'm friends with. They all the, uh, the won the house. Um, tons of people won the house that I that I know. So that's that was kind of cool. Wow, that house with botanical is hot. Yo, dude. So this is a set that I was not sure how it would look um, on the board. Even as I was putting it on, I got like halfway done and I was about, eh, this is probably not gonna look that good. And then I finished putting it on and it just it kind of works. Pretty, this this might be like end game 65 for me. Um, I don't I don't know any other 65s that have ran recently that I have been this stoked to have. Um, I do want to try and get my hands on a Kohaku, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, that's another 65 that's really interested me, but I can't really think of any other 65s that I'm uh, that I have my eye on right now. I really want the house. Yo. The liquid IV, are they for energy or just flavor? Kind of, uh, it's not for really energy as much as it is like, think of it as like kind of like a healthier like Gatorade. There's electrolytes and stuff like that. But it still has a decent amount of sugar. I have like two after jujitsu, yo. Hopefully the wrist rest red matches, I know, right? Oh, I did get the new new wrist rest too, shoot. <laughs> Hopefully it does match. 
I don't know if I can afford it though. I realized the price after I entered the raffle. Yo, yes, this was a very expensive board for sure. Very expensive board. Uh, if you ask me if it's worth it, 100%, but uh, comparatively speaking, it is very expensive. Wish it was the beige botan- there's a beige botanical? What? Have you seen the TGRX GAF 910? Yes, I have. Um, I don't have one coming, sadly, <laughs> but that is another one. I suppose if you really want to throw that in uh, in the mix, that would be one I'm interested in as well, but uh, yeah. Oh, Desert Botanical round two? Interesting. Lowell's my girlfriend wants to know where the sweater is from. <laughs> This is, um, it's, it's, you can't, it looks like the independent logo, but this is, uh, Stone Island. Endgame until the next endgame comes out, pretty much. Please tell me you didn't buy that bongo after market. The only bongo that I have ever won and not paid after market for was the Kiwi bongo. So I paid after market for this one and I paid... I traded for this one. Uh, sadly, I want to say I paid 450 for this for this strawberry one, which is quite a quite a hunk, hefty chunk of change. Um, and then I want to say I traded a bunch of lats for this one, maybe. So yeah, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty piss poor with my artisan raffle skills. <laughs> Is that Stone Island hype? Dude, Stone Island's one of my favorite um, favorite companies, for sure. And it's like expensive, but it'll never go out of fashion. So um, that's why I like Stone Island. A lot of other kind of high-end fashion companies are expensive, but, but also like very seasonal. Whereas I feel like this is just a sweatshirt. It's not, I mean, hopefully it'll never go out of style. <laughs> Look up botanical round two. Let me look at that real quick. Dude, honestly, I could not tell you guys the last time I joined. Actually, I could. I think out of the last like three months, the only GMK set that I joined was, was um, British Racing Green. <laughs> I've been really bad about it or good. Botanical two. All right, let's take a look. Do you like Prada? Um, what's up, Morad? I do like Prada. Um, what is there to say about Prada? Um, Prada is almost a little bit too, um, uh, I don't want to say basic looking, but a little bit, um, quite not quite enough character for me. Their shoes, I appreciate their shoes, but as far as their like shirts and, uh, um, Clothing, it's a little bit too basic for me. I only joined Handerbait. Shoot, did I join Handerbait? I think I forgot. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so Botanical Round 2 has a desert one. Is that still... Please tell me that's still active. Is it? Can I still buy that? It looks like I can, huh? August 13. Okay, I got a little bit of time. I always tell myself I got a little bit of time and then I, like, check back in, like, two days after it ended. <laughs> Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. You got it. Imagine winning, right? I, I, I honestly think I've joined like 15 to 20 bongo raffles and I've only won one. I guess that's not terrible odds. Hard to join GBs with the long ass wait times now. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at, to be honest. Prada is pretty uniform. I have a, um, speaking of which, yo, ideal gas. Thank you for the follow. This is the only, the only piece of Prada clothing that I own. And it's like a, it's like a gym shirt. And all it says is uh, Prada right there. <laughs> this is the only piece of Prada I, I own, but I like it. Definitely, definitely overpriced for a gym shirt. I've joined 20 plus and one zero. Oof. Okay. I guess I can't be complaining then. Prada and Gucci don't, it don't go together, Louis and Dior. I swear it go better. 
Yeah. Pro Gucci's very in your face. Prada's very subtle. So I, I would definitely say they don't go together. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How do you feel about the around two botanical stepped caps lock? Uh, dude, I just realized that my camera is not even zoomed in at all. No one told me. All right, let's see. <clears throat> well, how do I feel about the caps? Oh, how it says caps. Is that what you're referring to, Raz? R2 potential stepped caps lock. Yeah, um, I am, uh, I'm not a fan, to be honest. But it would not stop me from buying the kit. I personally don't like the mod and the text. <laughs> Hello, Ryan. What's up, Dr. Killswitch? That is the reason I'm not joining round two. Wow. Ryan, are you getting another Ocelot? There's going to be a PC one. Dude, I saw Elaine posted the green Ocelot. Oof. I don't know if that's going to be uh, available or not. Yeah, I saw the green one. So sick. Um, I will definitely be buying a... Um, another ocelot i don't even use it at all yo the, I, the, the rice maker thank you for the follow the trusty rice maker um but uh i never even use this as a macro i just use it for artisans but uh i, I love the ocelot in fact this ocelot used to be heinies <laughs> um but um also the 1.5 u backspace is not the move 1.5 u backspace oh bacuspa <laughs> yikes I wonder whose idea was that? I always thought I had you followed, but I guess I was wrong. Dude, I just did that to Alex Otos. I've literally been subscribed to Alex Otos for 11 months. He was one of the very first uh, streamers I watched. And I've literally been subscribed for 11 months in a row. And I hadn't followed him. <laughs> so I just followed him the other day. It was a little embarrassing. Matchy matchy green nerd nest. Yo, uh, I mean, if you guys, you guys know me, green is definitely on the table. So uh, anyways, scuff design, botanical round two. I mean, it, it's not my preference, but I would still, I think I would still buy it. Um, but I, I like the icon mods or I like text. I don't like, I don't like both of them, I think is, is my preference. But uh, yeah, so anyways, we do have the house here. Um, did I have another board? I'm gonna get the ibis at some point. Maybe I'll get it in a second here. But um, what else we got? <laughs> Let's see. Let me move this over here. I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna make some room up here. Hand engineering. Dude, that was such a delayed response. Wow. Um, someone commented on the uh, Kaze Artisan. So let me show you real quick. I forgot who it was. That's by uh, GSK. Golden Star Keycaps. Dietrich, thank you for the follow. Don't understand the obsession with icon plus text in recent GMK group buys. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a way to differentiate from botanical round one. Those are some nice lats. Yo, thank you, Frostfire. But um, anyways, I think uh, we're at almost an hour here. Wow, time flies. Let's uh, let's grab the board. I got this like super sick towel when I was in Milan, and I just really like the design. So I'm gonna put this down. That look kind of sick. Maybe it's too. Is that does that white it out too much? Okay, let's take a look. Oh, speaking of which, so the build we are doing tonight. So this is the um, Canon Keys Balance, right? So I'm going to be building the prototype. Uh, the GB starts, I believe, tomorrow. Is it? Let's pull up that geek hack real quick. Yes, yeah, so July 30th, that is indeed tomorrow. Tau looks like it's moving, right? Uh, just in time. What's up, Krieger? 
Um, so we are going to be doing the, uh, Canon Keys is doing the group buy starting tomorrow. Uh, looks like it'll be open for two weeks. Um, in my opinion, this is, this is a pretty special group buy because, um, there are not a lot of f list compact boards, um, that are readily available, right? So you do have, let's see, in the past you had the Cypher, you had the Austin, you had, you have... Heine's Ibis, which I, I'd imagine is coming out at some point. Um, there was the, what's another one? I think there's, I feel like, oh, Matrix Project F. I had that one as well. Um, so my preferred work board is not a full size board. It is a compact f 1800. So I use the Ibis at work, right? Um, I don't use the f at all, but I use the numpad every day. I had the Matrix Project F banana board. That board was sick. But the second I got Heine's Ibis, I sold it. Um, so, yeah, if you are looking for a work board, this is this is a great option, and it has the encoder knob, um, which which the Ibis does not. Cipher round three, I think I love the Cipher. Cipher was pretty sick. I had one of the original Cyphers, and it kind of was a little bit wonky, um, had some quirks with it. So I'm curious to see what the new Cipher is like. I know the Austin is super nice. It's so poppy, the purple is very poppy on the cloth. Yo. <laughs> Lol Stacks, when will Sandy be starting birddesigns.co and make net? Dude, she laughed so hard at that, she sent it to me. <laughs> uh. I spy labs. You are indeed correct. We're building it with lavenders tonight. Um. Lavenders are also pretty cool in a sense that uh, they don't necessarily need to have anything done to them. You don't really need to film them. Uh, if you're cool with the spring, you don't need to spring swap them and they come lubed. So um, these are kind of good to go. They'll match the board as well because we do have a black and purple board. Janglad is also running one. Interesting. Yo, what up, Moon Operator? Can confirm Ibis is the best work board. Yo. Let's go. Do you have ha interest in Halo Infinite? The technical preview just dropped. Is that, are we talking about Halo the video game? <laughs> Dark gray, did I say black? <laughs> I want an HBCP. <laughs> Anna, you need to keep correcting me. I have some labs waiting for a board and I'm worried about over lubing because they are so smooth already. So um, I'll say this already, my personal preference for labs is uh, not to not to touch them. I would just use them stock. If you do, if you are so inclined to uh, mod them, I would wipe off the factory lube. Um, I'd wipe off the factory lube. Make sure you wipe it all off because uh, it doesn't really play well um, if you lube on top of the factory lube. Um, so that's kind of my preference on them. <laughs> Apiary kept calling the balance a cipher the other day. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. When I was building the house, I called it a 910. So sorry, Lewis. I can't redeem the Leap 60 typing test. Feels bad. Oh, do I already have one? Is that why? All right. So we do have labs. Um, pretty cool. I have... Um, I don't think... You know what? This... I thought this towel would be cool, but it's kind of it's kind of getting in the way now. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I have not typed on lavenders. I don't think. I sorry. I've not built a board with lavenders. I've typed on it, but I've not built one. I can't redeem a Lee. Oh, I already read that. Yikes. Can you make the feet on the Kaze one of one replicas of your? Okay, buddy. All right. Let's take a look. On that note, let's get her opened up. <laughs> All right, so I have already done us the pleasure. So Diego already built one of these and Apiary already built one of these. Um, so I'm sure you guys know how to put stabs on. Um, we do have clip-in stabs here. Um, I've already put them on, so you don't need to go through that. Um, these, are, these look like they're cherry stabs um, with cherry wires on the two U's. And it looks like we have maybe the Canon Keys black wire on the space bar. We do have a very long PCB, right? Um, let's take a look. I, I personally like green PCBs. Obviously, this is a uh, this is a prototype PCB, 
Um, do we know what color the PCB is going to be? Is it going to be green? Completely fine by me if it is. Ah, there we go. Uncool dude, thank you. Balance board. All right, there we go. Check that out. PCB designed by Upas with assistance from Ender. That artisan holder is hot. It looks so nice. Follow for the artisan collection. Yo. Black and matte PCBs just look extra messy with the flux. I can agree. I think white looks the worst with flux though, because then it's like that like kind of like yellowy like booger color. <laughs> I made a buffalo chicken panini trim. Dude, I'm so freaking hungry right now. Oh my goodness. Mm. All right, let's take a look at this PCB. So, looks like we have a couple different options for the bottom row here. Um, I'm gonna be using the 625 wire. Looks like you can indeed use a seven. We got a normal uh, normal left shift. Um, it looks like you can just do the normal shift on the right as well. Can't split shift, sorry Krelbit. Um, normal enter, you can split the backspace though if you want. Uh, we do have an encoder right here as well. That'll be fun. I don't know if I've ever soldered an encoder. Um, additionally, we do have the numpad on the right with uh, stabs on the plus and the enter. The white PCB wasn't too bad, but the trace placement was so lazy. On which one? Oh, the drop alt, yeah. Sir Hedge, thank you for this sub. <laughs> 11 months, tier one. Woke up this morning, got yourself a gun. Mom was always said you'd be the chosen one. Yo, let's go, buddy. Oh, we got Huru in the house. That looks like a PCB out of an OEM board. A lot of companies will use green uh, for prototyping. I, uh, like for instance, on the Kaze, we use green as well. Um, it's kind of like, uh, it's, it's cheaper. Um, a lot of, uh, generally, if you're going to do a different colored PCB, you're going to want to order a bunch of them. So that's probably why this one is green as well. I personally like green. I think it's kind of a nice ode to uh, older boards. Yo, what up, HP DeskJet? Will this keyboard bring in the ladies because it's long? <laughs> okay, buddy. Yo, Upas has gifted a sub to Anna Olive. Wow, my gifted sub works now. Thank you, Raz. Thank you, Upas. How's it going? Hey, hi, how you doing? This was designed by Upas, if you guys uh, were wondering, or Upas. I always, I, I never know which one. <laughs> I like the, okay, buddy. Yo, let's go, it worked. What'd you do, Raz? My, my sub, my gifted sub noise has been broken forever. Who do I start to teach the beginners class in my jujitsu gym? Wow, give me some pointers. What's that icon in the middle of the PCB? So this is actually a mini, a mini cannon, it looks like. That's kind of cool. Holy shit, six months? Yo. This thing got more stabs than the Bronx. Dude, I was doing the, you guys know me and my stabs. I was, I was looping the stab for this and I was like, freaking A, there's so many stabs on this thing. <laughs> Here's a pointer, have good cardio, yo. Is there a QC sticker on this PCB? I do not see a QC sticker. Should we call, should we call the QC sticker police? <laughs> oh my, Dr. Killswitch, the Leaf 60 typing test. Someone's gotta redeem me a drink for this build here. <laughs> and, and for that Leaf typing test. Don't look up Hyper 7 unless you love stabs, yikes. What is your favorite brand of stabs? Um, currently, my favorite brand is uh, either C3 or Duroc. Um, 
Either one, I, I'm completely fine with. <laughs> Let's go. Maybe you should test the PCB. I, I actually already tested the PCB. So we are in the clear. I've tested the PCB and I put the stabs on. All right, so let's go over a little um, a little rundown of this board, right? So we've gone over the PCB, pretty pretty standard Efro list compact 1800, right? So this is not going to have the Efro, which in my opinion is a huge plus for me. So no Efro up top. Uh, we do still have the arrow cluster. You have two kind of fun keys right here, um, and we have a rotary knob that's going to go right there. Other than that, you have a traditional kind of like 60% over here. Uh, and then we have a numpad on the on the right, right? So that's kind of all there is to the PCB. Who is this guy and what have you done with Ryan? Dude, I know, right? I tested the PCB. Look at that. Uh, we are going to be building this with lavenders. So those are already squared away. Um, let's take a look at the, uh, the rotary knob. I thought this box was super nice. Um, we got the Candy Keys logo there, kind of glossy on that. And then... Uh, <laughs> like I was showing you guys, very similar to the emblem on my shirt, uh, we do have the uh, rotary knob there. I'm hyped for stabies. Good job. Thank you, Uncle Dude. I'm kidding. It's a joke. Oh my god, they're so goddamn bad. They're like clicky with lube and everything. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I definitely did not believe that drop stabs are the best. <laughs> So there we go. Let's take one, one more quick look at this. Um, we do have the compass logo on the top there. Uh, we have a little bit of a knurled edge around here. Looks pretty clean to me. All right. So we'll put this here for now. Do you have a favorite cereal? Dude, I just bought this new cereal. Um, I mean, growing up, I used to eat the sugary, sugary cereal. Um, my favorite was probably Frosted Flakes, to be honest. I think Frosted Flakes was always, all, or Cocoa Puffs. Frosted Flakes or Cocoa Puffs. Um, but now I eat like super, super healthy cereal. Um, you probably wouldn't, you probably wouldn't like it. <laughs> Do you, you chose this sweatshirt to wear because of this not, dude, I, it did not even cross my mind, but it kind of just worked out, huh? Are you proposing to us? What's up, Moon Operator? Oh, I wanted to show you guys this one last thing here. Um, I bought a, you guys should check out eBay. Um, I used to troll eBay way too often. Um, I would just type in like cherry vintage keyboard or, um, uh, mechanical vintage keyboard, something like that. And, uh, occasionally you'll find boards that'll have like vintage blacks on them or, or, uh, relegendables, right? So I found a board that had a bunch of relegendables on it. <laughs> And so I, I recently put them on the KFE. I thought it looked kind of sick. We got some shine on this on this uh, black on white or wob too. Kind of sick, kind of different, right? Works perfect with that F13. Anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. Ryan eats mus muslicks? What is that? <laughs> anyway, I just ordered Wob tonight. Is Wob back in stock or no? All right, on to the main event. Let's take a look here. So we do have a rotary knob. Right, so this is gonna be for the uh, rotary encoder knob. And we got a JST pay, uh, cable for the daughter board. On drop for pre-order September 30th ETA. Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. For the, for the re-legendables, is there any curvature or row profiling? Um, generally, you wanna look for a board that has cherry profiling. But yes, they're usually all, uh, as Zekin said, usually all row one. So that's kind of the, um, the the good and the bad, right? So 
Um, on this board, generally speaking, this is normally row two, row three, and row four or five. Um, but in this case, row one, row one, row one, row one. So if you look, these actually sit higher than the corresponding row, which I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a huge deal. Oh. And these will these will occasionally be a little bit loose on older boards. But uh, that's definitely something to make note of as well. Usually they're always row one. All right. Luckily, I had a TX full-size case for this. It was sent to me as a prototype, right? So it came in with the traditional white foam, uh, but I had a TX full-size case, so that kind of worked out. Oof! And the second I put that brass plate in, I realized how fire this, this, I feel like I need GMK Phantom to put on this board. You guys remember GMK Phantom? I had that way back in the day and I, I miss it so much. The kidding is Sag on Wob. Has it just never been updated? Or GMK First Love. First Love would look nice as well. Taro would look good. What is the white plastic on top? Which one? Oh, so those are, that's like kind of like the point of a Relegendable, right? Um, you can put, you can print out um, basically different pieces of paper with different icons on it to put underneath the plastic. Hence why it's called like a re-legendable. You can kind of make it whatever you want it to be. So anyways, I'll take this, this one out here. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Whoa, Phantom is clean. Yes. My GMK Phantom is super shined and I love it so much. Yo, Dean, you got GMK Phantom? Dude, I wish I would not have sold that. Phantom never pops up anymore. You just didn't include Sugar Plum with this? What's Sugar Plum? Keycap set? Phantom is OG AF. I know. It never pops up anymore. But uh, let's take a look at the board here, right? So obviously we have a, a full size um, minus the number, so that makes it a compact 1800, right? Uh, so we have an Ephra list compact 1800. Um, on this board, the arrow cluster is usually, on any compact 1800 board, the arrow cluster is usually a little bit lower than the bottom row. So you can see this arrow cluster, the bottom is a little bit lower on both sides there. Phantom and Led Zepp are two sets that come up from back in the day, right? What's up, Kevin? Sugar, oh, it's EPBT, gotcha. That would look good as well. All right, pretty slick. Let me get my pointer out. The arrow cluster with the keys and knob above it, right? So we do have an arrow cluster. We have two keys here. Um, obviously you could, if this were my board, um, I would probably put page up and page down right here. Uh, and then we have a, a, a knob there as well. That is sick. I agree. This is sick. This is basically the exact same layout that I use at work with the addition of an encoder. So that's kind of cool. Um, we, have, <laughs> we have a brass plate. Um, and uh, if you guys know me, I think the only keyboard I have ever built with a brass plate was the TGR. No, that was um, the TGR Polis was a copper plate. Have I ever built a board with a brass plate on my stream? I don't think I have. Looks like a PP. Oh, are you referring to this? <laughs> are you freaking serious? You're saying this looks like a PP? <laughs> you did, someone's Chimera. Oh, yes. <laughs> Krieger. <laughs> the Chimera 65, The uh, another Cannon Keys board. So the only two boards that I uh, will have built uh, with brass plates are both cannon keys built boards. So kind of fun. I'm excited. I haven't built on brass in a long time. My brain huge. Damn. Yep. It's got the red rocket layout complete with the knob at the top. Okay, buddy. 
PC play with Browns would be something in this board. That would be nice. Definitely, definitely. What would you use the knob for, Ryan? So if this were my board at work, um, hmm, I think honestly, you already have a scroll on your on your mouse for up and down, right? So um, I would probably use it. I don't really listen to music on my computer at work, so I, I wouldn't use it for volume. Maybe I could use it to, uh, I'd probably use it for something in Excel. I'd probably figure out how to use it for something in Excel. Undo and redo, yo. <laughs> scroll up and down. I was thinking scroll up and down, but I do have that on my mouse. Maybe you could highlight things with it. That would be cool. Scroll left and right would be nice too. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, control V, control C, control V. I was thinking change windows, but I, I alt tab a lot. So I probably wouldn't do that. But um, maybe I would, yeah. That, that'd be kind of cool to quickly change between windows. Um, move up and down columns, sure, sure, sure. Is there any way for this keyboard to have a delete button? There is, yeah. So um, you could pr you could definitely put delete in one of these two as well. What is your job? Um, I'm in finance, so I definitely deal a lot of uh, deal a lot with Excel. Ooh, the Windows virtual desktops, definitely, definitely. Someone said something. Let me find it. Uh... Oh, I did have a question. So let's take a look here, right? So this is obviously a five and a five and a half degree typing angle, right? Check that out. So um, not super steep, definitely not flat either. Uh, in my opinion, anything between five and nine ish, five and eight probably. Five and eight is pretty solid with me. Check out that side angle too. So like I was explaining last time when I did the unboxing, right? So we do have a uh, kind of like a koala curve right here on the bottom case. Um, it's cut short a little bit, and then we have a lip up, right? Pretty cool. Um, this is kind of like a, uh, you know, like the shoebox style design, how the top kind of goes over the bottom. This is kind of a similar um, design to uh, the Trinity XT. I'll show you guys real quick. Oof. Right, so we on the Trinity XT, you have the uh, the top case going over the bottom case there, right? Kind of similar with the uh, with the balance. If we can get a hello. Hello. I think I gotta move the board up there. <laughs> there we go. So kind of similar design, right? Whereas the seam is not in the middle of the uh, top case and bottom case. Do you use the double zero key on your workboard, Ryan? Um, I do not. I do not. I use the zero and the period. Uh, did you only get the brass plate? Haven't seen the PC plate as of yet. I only got brass. I only got brass. Yo, what up, JQETT? What's up, JKET? All right, so as far as the side profile goes, pretty slick there. The anno on this board is super smooth as well. There you go. That's a, that's a good look at it. Pretty cool. Um, for proto builds, we only sent FR4 and brass. Yeah, so I got the brass. Um, this gray lilac color combo is pretty slick. I know there are there are not a lot of um, purple boards out, so I, I definitely commend Canon Keys for that. Right, so um, onto the back of the board, pretty cool as well. Wow, look at that! I'm actually gonna change. Give me give me one quick second here.
All right, we back. Sorry for you guys that like the uh, yellow sweater, but I was I was overheating just a little bit, so we had to swap it out for a t-shirt. <laughs> All right, now I'm in the zone. Oh. We might have sent aluminum, I forget. I believe I just have the brass. I believe I just have the brass. Yo, this board looks exotic AF. Dope ass shirt. Yo, thank you. It looks like there's a goatee under the USB. All right, Huru. Let's take a look at the back here. I'm gonna pop this open. I'm uh, I'm extending my caffeine trip, so we got a uh, we got a mocha latte. <laughs> don't don't uh, don't judge my intake. All right, it's better than alcohol. <sighs> oh boy. <laughs> all right, let's take a look at the back here. Right. So, um, let me grab my, here we go. All right, so reading off the Cannon Keys website here, um, the balance got its name. Let's see here. So the name balance comes from the way the keyboard appears to balance on the back accent of the keyboard. So we do have this black accent here, and um, when it is on the desk, uh, it would look like it's kind of balancing on this middle portion here, right? So that's where the name comes from. Let's take a closer look. That's pretty damn slick. I've already installed the daughter board, so um, that was pretty quick and easy. Um, looks pretty, pretty tight to me. Doesn't look like there's gonna be any issues with cable rub. I think this is just a mark here, there we go. Cover the sides, it really looks like a beard on a person. What are you talking about? <laughs> it looks like there's a goatee under the USB. Are you talking about this right here? A little goatee. Who you got some you got some quite quite imagination there. <laughs> Anyway, pretty slick there. Dude, look at the purple on this thing. Woo wee. So I'll show you guys. This is kind of cool. This this entire portion comes out with the dotted board on it. Almost like a little like detachable like spaceship from the mothership. Kind of cool. I'll show you guys that in a bit. Can you grow any facial hair, Ryan? That is a very personal question. Um, I can grow facial hair. Thank you very much. Um, is it full and luscious no it is not I'm not a I mean dude look at my freaking arms I'm not a I'm not a hairy person I don't shave my arms I just don't I just don't have hair <laughs> that unit is black purple and sadly was not popular we replaced the color with black silver for the Jeep so this is black okay <laughs> Damn, this was not popular. That's crazy because I feel like the Iron Man and this one were both are I think are both looking looking quite stunner. Sorry, Lulz. Wow. <laughs> I was like, am I colorblind? <laughs> I could swear this is black. <laughs> Lulz is never gonna get it right now. Wow. I'm not a hairy man, Jenny. F what the? Don't get me wrong, the board looks sick. What up, Huru? We never get you wrong. So, uh, the purple is so good. I hate that it didn't make the GB. I know. Look at that. I don't, I honestly can't think of any other, I can't think of any other board that is this color. Can you guys? It's, it's not even like it's a, uh, it's, it's very metallic-y. I quite like it. Forrest Gump. Oh. I love you, Jenny. Sights taken. <laughs> the next key cult is a really good purple. Ooh, yes, that is true. The, the what is that? The number three TKL was kind of this color almost. Uh, but I did have a question: Is the um, is the final version gonna have bump ons? Oh, dude, the vertigo kind of is this color, huh? Very close. This weekend's bongo looks fire, by the way. Oof. 
No, the next, oh, the next 265 has the purple bottom. You're right, you're right. I love that color too. Can't believe it didn't make to GB. Oof. I'm having a shit day. I want to die, but stream makes me feel better. Oh, Judge Bunny, don't do that. I, uh, I'm glad that my stream's cheering you up. Yes, the production versions will have bump-ons cut out. Nice. Okay, so yeah, this one does not have bump-ons. But uh, the production version will. Actually, I'm gonna grab the uh, I want to grab the vertigo to, to kind of just compare the purples. Give me a sec. It's all for science. So gray lilac is a different color combo and will be in the GB. The production units will have bump on cutouts. Perfect. So I, I did just get this in, what was it, yesterday maybe? Oof. And I know, I know Enigma does have his extras, I believe on Saturday, but let's check it out. I think it's honestly a pretty, pretty similar color. Wow, it is. Oh, uh, it's a little bit more blue. I would say it's a little bit more blue. It's more like a sapphire, to be honest. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's not really too close. Dude, the, this light is blinding. <laughs> there we go. So this is more bluish. This is like a pure, deep, like royal purple. Yeah, isn't that funny? This board on its own looks way more purple. But then when you bring an actual like royal purple board in, you can really tell. This purple looks a little more eggplant than anything. Yeah. Monokey XTGR Tomo had a royal purple. They did. Yeah, I think so. So anyway, that's kind of just a little comparison there. Lies, that's blue. This is pretty purple. On its own, it, it looks purple. Anyway. Yo, what's up, Royo Ro Ro keyboards? You guys, I have I have a confession to make. I've been working from home. Um, ever since I got back from Italy because I've been I'm not allowed to go into the office for what is it 10 days So I'm stuck at home and uh, I've been watching uh, Roro keyboards on uh, On twitch because he's like the only person that's that's live at the time and uh, I really enjoy it. It's very very uh, Very peaceful stream. So Roro shout out to Roro check out his stream super nice guy very uh, very fun streamer to watch Working from home equals watching anime and streams. No. See, I, I watch the stream, but I have it, you know, very small, so it doesn't distract me. I got fever from the vaccination, and I learned my promotion isn't pushing through due to some last-minute restructuring in the company. Ryan's stream is my rock now. Yo! All right, Judge Bunny. We're going to have a we're gonna have a blessed stream tonight. Don't you worry. Can you show the green KFE again? I missed it. Yes, I can show it real quick. Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. There it is. Uh, if you guys know, there was a Philco. There was a, um, there was a, uh, what was it? Like a, a turf, there was a turf green Philco that was almost this color with like black uh, caps. And th this reminds me of the turf Philco. <laughs> but anyways, there you go. I need to move the ho the house. It just keeps it keeps. There we go. My autofocus be struggling. All right. Oof. Back to the main event. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. You got it, dude. You just made my day, sir. Yo. I appreciate that, Roro. 
All right, let's take a look at the bottom once more. So obviously, super stunner bottom. We have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and there is a hidden screw, which I found out. <laughs> so I undid all these screws, and then the board wouldn't come apart, and I was just like, huh. Am I smarter than this board, or is this board smarter than me? <laughs> and then I realized I had to take this off. You do these four screws, take this out, like a little freaking fighter jet plane. Uh, and then there's another screw underneath there that you got to remove. So if you do buy this board, <laughs> make sure you remove the screw under there. <laughs> Didn't realize the BRG house was pretty much color matched with botanicals, right? Uh, I had no idea. Um, I think Botanical's gonna sit on there until I actually get British Racing Green. <laughs> so, anyways. Can anyone shout out here? Shout out Old Bites. Yo! Shout out to Old Bites as well. What up, Old Bites? We got Old Bites and Roro in here. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay, my day is off. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, Appa is not a mod here? Does Appa need to be a mod here? It, uh, it's very tempting to buy some other TKL, but I stay strong for Kaze and Kaze, etc. Yo, Judge Bunny's the number one fan. Let's go. So I broke my chair last night and then bought a new one and then bought a GMMK Pro also. Damn, sounds like Christmas. <laughs> Nerd Nest to the moon, the only case that will be on my desk and it's going to be the first. Let's go. But you don't have Appa as a mod here. I'm saying, does she need it? If Roro tells me to, I, I I don't know if I could say no to Roro. Super nice purple there. This is this is I mean it's it's a soup it's it's such a smooth anno it really is. We believe in Appa supremacy. <laughs> does this come does this kit come with switches and keycaps? It does not. So you're gonna be buying the uh, keyboard kit right, and then you're gonna purchase your own switches and keycaps. How do you say your name? Lol's Facts. Uh, or if you're T Pain, I'm Lol Lil Facts. He called me Lil Facts. I think that was my proudest streaming moment was when T Pain called me Lil Facts. <laughs> but uh, anyways, so that's kind of the outside of the case. Let's take it apart. Yeah. Did you and Sandy leave John in Italy? Dude, John's got to come on the next Italy trip. All right, so I'm undoing the case screws right now, uh, but we will have to take off this piece here to access that screw. Did you read? Did you raid T Pain at some point? I did. <laughs> it was hilarious. I raided T Pain, and he like stops what he's doing. He goes, "Little little facts. Thank you for the raid." And I'm just like. What am I, a freaking Lil Fax, like SoundCloud rapper or something? I'm gonna drop my mixtape Kaze, exactly. I can't wait to hear your album when it drops. All right. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, it really should be Swole Fax, dude. Maybe in my heyday, I'm so, I'm so weak right now. I'm so weak. I went to the bouldering gym on uh, Tuesday. Oh my God, dude. I'm so bad right now. So bad. Kaza EP first track gonna be called Boulder Thax? Yo. <laughs> Lil Thax. <laughs> it's like, it's like, do I correct T-Pain? Nah, we'll go with it. I lost house, I'm Sag. Can you comfort me please? Yo. I would tell you that house is, it's okay that you missed out on it, but to be honest, you might have to try and get it in the aftermarket because it's, um, it's one of my favorite boards at the moment. What T-Pain says goes, T-Pain is a legend, absolute legend. All right. I think, there we go. So this comes out, check that out, All right? So this thing comes out here, flip it over, boom. Daughter board. Pretty cool. Pretty cool.
So we'll put this up here for now. <laughs> we got a raid. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, Sandy came back from her trip and he was she was she asked me who that was and I was like Yeah those were the days. No <laughs> Wait, I need to hear this T Pain story, please. <laughs> yeah. Oh sorry, yes, that was pretty much it. It was it was pretty hilarious. <laughs> Might be the peak of my my Twitch career. Doctor Who's comment on IG, right? All right, so I'm gonna flip this over. Yo, bueno. What up, bueno? Let's go, bud. Speaking of bueno, dude, I saw you got that dub. Saw you got that dub on the house. Let's go. What color did you get? What's up, Endo Mushiki? I did some research on her after last stream. I'm sure you did some research. You don't need to tell me that. <laughs> I heard that girl is really good at well, dude. She was. She was on my. Um, she was on my um, uh, rated battleground group. We got we got uh, hero of the horde. So this is that screw I was talking about, right? So when you remove that little piece there, my camera's having a lot of autofocus issues today. Hello, hello, I'm here, notice me. So you got that screw right there, right? So we're gonna remove that screw <laughs> flawless. I'm gonna I'm gonna fire my camera guy. You're fired. Bueno is an OG, he sure is. Hell yeah, blue gray. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, top comes off. Boom. Let's flip her around. Check it. I grew up. Got into the deuce to the game. <laughs> is Sandy also in quarantine? She can't bomb this stream. <laughs> she's uh she's jet lagged as heck right now. <laughs> unified C3 daughter board. Yes, yeah, so this is a unified C3 daughter board, so uh pretty uh pretty standard these days. Um I actually don't do you guys know any keyboards that don't use a standard daughter board? Other than like, you know, say like a matrix or something. <sighs> Did Lewis say he will do a house round two? Um, he has not announced a house round two, but um, I would definitely not put it past him. John up there focusing your camera? Dude, maybe, I wish. <laughs> All right, so we have the we have the top piece off. Let's take a look, right? So I did not even mention this, but notice this kind of purple accent up here, right? So it's almost like a mini a mini mini pen rail, right? I guess if you're I guess if you're into sewing, or if you're if you're Kuma crochet, you could put your tool on top of here. <laughs> um, let's take a look at the bottom. That's a pretty board. I know this purple is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, look at that. I have already placed I have already placed the isolation gasket mounts. Look at that. No way in heck I was doing that on stream. We do have that purple piece up there. So it looks like it is interchangeable. So I assume if you have someone else that has this board, you could swap pieces. It's a feather rail. <laughs> Impressive work with the gaskets there. Ugh, I, I'm i so OCD about my gaskets. So OCD. And these ones are so hard to put on because um, I will tell you guys, when you buy this board, I say when because it's a fantastic board. When you do buy this board and you are putting on the gaskets, make sure you don't stretch the gaskets. I My, my initial instincts when I'm putting on gaskets is to put it on and then kind of stretch it all the way and put it down. But if you stretch it, the gasket will be too big for its slot. So don't stretch it. It's really, really important to kind of put it down and slowly pull over and then push it down, right? We also offer extra top accent pieces. Ooh, sweet. All right, so this purple piece right here can be purchased separately. So you can get a different accent piece. So that's kind of cool, all right? Another thing I noticed on this board as well, super subtle. We do have that cherry lip right there. 
So this board already does have a pretty low front height. And then you have that cherry lip as well. So this will be super comfortable to work to use as a work board um, for long extended periods of time. Right? Instructions unclear. Spread the gasket like butter. Um, I'll show you an example. Like if you pull the gasket, you'll end up with a little bit too much on the corner there. See how I have like a little bit too much because I ended up pulling the gasket. Right? But they're they're not they're not super easy to install. But at the end of the day, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I know some people will get irked if it's not perfect, but it doesn't need to be perfect. This board has a lip goatee and a PP. Are you sure it's not sentient? Wow. <laughs> He said on Discord that there will be projects that are going to be more accessible as well as some that will be even harder to get than the Dalco. I can definitely, um, I can definitely attest to that for sure. Kohaku doesn't use a daughter board. It uses a centered USB-C, USB PCB. I have found that a lot of 65% don't use a daughter board. They just use a standard center USB. 15.7 millimeter front height. Nice and low for comfort. That is fantastic. That is insane actually. 15.7 with the cherry lip. So that's that's an A plus in my book. Um, as far as my preferences go, anything under uh, kind of like 18, 19, anything under 19 for me is is perfect. I love that centered USB on the PCB. Yes. Nice. Do they do a ledge? There is a ledge. Yeah. So that's kind of what I was showing here, Raz. Um, there is a front ledge right here. So if you guys have seen like like the Dalco, Dalco has this little ledge. Um, a couple boards that I have owned as well have that have that little ledge right there. So that effectively reduces the front height as well, right? Kind of cool. Where can I buy a nerd nest? Yo, we will definitely have nerd nests um, soon. We have a ton of them coming in right now. Um, so we'll have to QC them and then I'll, I'll definitely make an announcement on stream or, or my Instagram. But um, anyways, let's take a look at this plate, shall we? So we do have a brass plate. Um, these are obviously, let's get our, our pointer tool out here. Midway 60 have it too. Uh, the, I think the Midway does have it, yeah. By Bolsa, shout out Bolsa. <clears throat> so we do have these tabs here, right? So these are going to be sandwiched um, by the top case and the bottom case with, with isolation gaskets, right? So it'll be sandwiched with gaskets. Um, this is obviously a brass plate. Um, we do have some flex cuts here around the tab, the caps. The bottom row has a decent amount as well. Check out this, um, this one right here. Pretty interesting. Another U for Upas, I'd imagine. <laughs> uh, it looks like this bottom row does have a ton of different options, so uh, I'm sure you'll be able to find one that, that tickles your fancy. We have the classic cannons there, pretty slick. Um, some more flex cuts over here. No flex cuts along the top, doesn't look like. Um, and then we do have this big space right here for the, uh, for the rotary. Other than that, pretty, pretty standard plate. How much will the nerd nest be if you have prices yet? Uh, no confirmed prices yet. And let's take a look at the bottom case, right? So we do have more of those gaskets, right? So we have, um, we got four on top and four on bottom. I did a pretty, pretty good job on these ones. Pretty decent job installing these ones. Got, got, got a little squigglies, but not, not the end of the world. When are we hitting next? You mean when are you whooping my ass? <laughs> Dude, I'm, uh, I should be down on like Sunday to play some tennis. Dude, it took like three days for my arm to recover. All right. So pretty standard uh, bottom case here. Uh, pretty cool that they were able to achieve that low front height without adding any sort of Zon ledge on the bottom. Right. 
And we do have a cutout right here as well to uh, for that rotary. Another cool thing I see about this board is uh, I don't see any um, any anno streaking around the around the screws. That's pretty cool. Um, a lot of boards will have kind of like some galaxy type fading going on around the screws. I don't see any on this board. Um, you obviously have the, the traditional hook marks there, right? Every board has hook marks here usually, there and uh, the other side as well, but not very noticeable. But yeah, this this purple is, that lilac color is so pretty. I know, I know. I'm a sucker for lilac as well. Tennis is so fun. Yeah, except when you're playing with Brandon, who whoops your ass. <laughs> The multicolored PVD brass knob available for this looks pretty sweet. Yo, check out that link right there. So I showed you guys the black knob right here. Um, and there are a couple different options, right? So there is a PVD brass um, as well as aluminum. So there's multicolor on both, it looks like. Or multicolor, uh, sorry, PVD brass. You can go with the multicolor aluminum. You can go black, silver, or gold. So that actually looks like it's, is that? Yeah, so that's actually different than the group buy one, right? So even though there is a black one, you can get a cannon instead of a compass, it looks like. I was trying to help you. I know, I know. <laughs> I just always give Brandon crap. But uh, anyways, so kind of, kind of cool there. Fitment is super nice on this, not much play, right? Obviously it's sliding around right now, but there will be bump-ons on the um, production run. All right, so for now, I'm gonna put this up here. I'm gonna move these for a second. Hey Ryan, what's up One Way Theory? I'm a big 1800 fan, so I'm definitely getting in on this. I already have two wrecks, and I got an L on the Austin round two. Damn, well this is um, this is probably the most common uh, sense upgrade from the from the wrecked, is to go to this board here. Oh, extra. <laughs> what's up Jason? Oh my God. If you're here for more drunken stories, you know, this is a professional stream. All right, correct. You have, the one you have is from the SAT 75. Ooh, interesting. Can someone please send Lowell's affiliate link? Yes, please. I finally figured out how to subscribe. Lowell, most more story time. We got to, um, we got to wait until after we solder. <laughs> that way I can focus. Has anyone pointed out on stream yet how the knob to the arrow cluster column looks very, yes, everyone. Seriously, dude, okay, come on. That doesn't look that suggestive. If anything, to me, this looks like a middle finger. It does not look like what you guys think it looks like. There's there's no phallic going on right here. All right, to me, it looks like a middle finger, all right? I got the wrecked uh, for working from home during COVID and I got my fiance an EY one. Balance looks very nice aesthetically, agreed. How is the wreck, by the way? So I've typed on the, um, the Brutal. I've owned a Brutal and I've owned a Savage. Um, this is way before I even streamed. And um, I personally think the Brutal and the Savage are amazing boards for the price. I think you need to up your maturity rating. <laughs> I was asking about that last time. I was like, do I need to get one of those disclaimers when you first join the stream where it's like, you are now entering an, a, a, a mature stream. <laughs> All right, we'll put these aside for now. I'm gonna pop this up here. Damn, dude, that looks sick. There we go. And we'll get back to the PCB here. Thanks, Raz. There we go. So yes, definitely check out. Let's click that link. Boom. So that is my affiliate link. I am sponsored by Canon Keys. Um, I, I've, been spon I've been shopping on Canon Keys ever since I, before I even streamed. So um, they've, they've always been a legend to me. So if you guys do want to purchase anything on Canon Keys, I, I would definitely uh, appreciate using my affiliate link there. You don't have to, but uh, definitely, definitely appreciate the support. A lot of places are changing to remote or hybrid. Yes. 
Red rocket layout. Wow. <laughs> By the time this thing ships, none of us will be working from home. <laughs> yeah, a lot of companies are doing the hybrid for sure. Some companies are, are I've already announced that they're not, um, not going back to full capacity, which is kind of crazy. Do you still have GMK first love? I don't. Do you? Did you get first love, Michael? All right. So this is going to go on here just like so. Beautiful. I didn't. Ah, oh, it would. Damn. I used to have first love. I don't anymore. I didn't have any purple boards to put it on. I haven't been in the office or a plane since January 2019. Damn. What are you using? That is a fantastic question. I have not even I have not even selected the keycap set for this yet. <laughs> Ooh, you have Vok, don't you? I see picks have first love on it. That's true. Maybe I'll put violet on cream. That might look pretty good. My company first said working forever working from home, then said back to the office. People started leaving that when they backtracked. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think productivity to at, to some extent is pretty hard to measure. All right, I'll compile it. Thank you. <laughs> my Jim K first love is currently on my midnight purple NK65 aluminum. So good. Yo, I might need to see some pictures of that. <laughs> I'm glad you found the emotes, Jason. <laughs> Uh, all right, I think we should start putting some switches in and testing our stabs So these uh, switches are gonna fit perfect. Look at that more purple So these are uh, lavenders still learning over here. <laughs> well, hopefully you don't learn too fast Dang it's nice building a, a, a stiff brass plate GMK Daifuku, is that spelled correctly? Or did I pronounce that correctly? Where's the drink another shot emoji? <laughs> you have to redeem a shot. No one's redeemed a drink for me tonight. So I guess there's no stories. It's disabled? What? Really? How do how do we fix that? Raz, how do we fix that? <laughs> no longer disabled. Let me get Sandy on the phone and get you a whole case of soju. Oof. I do have a little bit of soju left. I'm pretty sure I redeemed one last time and you never got a drink, Sag. What's up, Chong? Dude. Here you go. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. You already Ooh, dude, first love is sick. That's clean. That is clean. I love the lighter purple from uh, from First Love. It's almost like Taro, but but not quite. Yo, Chad's in the building. All right. I think uh, I trust Chonga's word, even though I probably shouldn't. So I'll go get my soju in a second. I have a little bit left from Huru. Chong, are you going to... Uh... So if you guys watched my subathon, Chong is actually one of the ones that won the Slander um, concert. So uh, I believe the next SoCal Slander event is going to be in September. So we might be going to that together. The Lavender switches are sexy. Agreed. And they already come pretty, pretty nicely factory lubed. I'm down for whenever, yo, let's go. Um, I'm gonna grab, ooh, I need a 625. I don't even have any boards with a 625 space bar. But, uh, oh, I need to get my, I'll get my soju and a 625, I'll be right back.
All right, so we're stealing Vok off the canoe tonight. We're using Violet on Cream. Shout out to Heine. And uh, we do have our Soju shot for Changa. Yo, what the? I swear, I swear. Heine literally like has his ears always burning. The second I say Heine, boom, he's there. <laughs> Vok, you don't see that often, right? Can't wait for the Ibis comparison. Pricing is figured out, by the way, Pog. Yo, Ibis is currently in my car. I brought it home to compare, um, but uh, I'll have to get that. Otherwise, I'm going to do like a 20-minute chair stream. Heine lurking in the bush. Yo, right? Ryan has griefed the past three solders. I'm all in. Wow, that's pretty rude. All right, Chonga, this one's for you. Dang, look at that. I am almost completely out of the soju that Huru gave me. Cheers, Chong. I wish you were going to... Uh, you're not going to Teha Subathon, are you? It's free real estate. I put 77k in the pool? What? That's a lot of pool noodles. You have to say Heine three times. Yeah, Heine's like freaking Beetlejuice. You say his name three times and he appears. Why is the Teemo hat out of stock? Because someone freaking already redeemed. Damn it, Heine. All right, I'm taking the last of the soju for Heine. Uh, two, a double shot of espresso. How much, how much caffeine's in this? Hello? Hello, 80 milligrams of caffeine. Okay, basically two double shots of espresso and two soju shots. What could go wrong? <laughs> Claw, we buzzing, baby. All right, fine. I'll save the soju for, for after soldering. Thank you. Michael has brought in the Truly. I'm sorry it's not a claw, close enough, but we do have a Truly. We haven't seen the Heine Koozie on stream in a minute. Oof. I know, it's in my closet somewhere. <laughs> we buzzing, baby. Great two hours late, but I didn't miss the build. All right, Toxic. What's up? What's up, JJW? Mm. Wow, I haven't had a Truly in a while. Vote against me if you want to be rich. Yo. All right. Is this seven? Is this 65? Hello? Yeah, it is 65. All right. So we're going to check this out. Boom. Mm -mm -mm. So it looks like it's going in the middle one. I always compare the stems here, right? So it looks like it's going in that one. Yo, dog. What's up, dog? Yo, dog. We heard you like dogs. What up, monkey wrench? Lavenders? I bet this isn't your boy. <laughs> no, but I do like lavenders. Shout out to the uh, patina on this canoe. Pretty spicy. Just here, be and me doing cute. Dude, just keep doing you. That's all you gotta do. All right, let's see what else is in here. Wow, check that out. Whole GMK trays. Get a load of that. If you guys are new to the hobby, you you don't uh, you don't remember the pleasure of popping these things out for the first time and then never ever getting them back in. No matter how careful you are. Because this always happens. You wanna know what always happens? This. There's always one, always one, that the leg gets caught out. <laughs> Stage three patina, pretty much. Pretty much. All right, we got enter, we got shift. And we got the plus and the enter.
I didn't bother putting the middle clips. Yeah. So I did loot these stabs with uh, two uh, BDZ actually. BDZ. Still a BDZ fan, even though it is extremely messy. Dude, I have three drinks going on. I got my, I got my liquid IV. I got my truly, and I got my coffee. I'm gonna take the coffee real quick. Always one loose nipple, exactly. Damn, you rubbed that thing real good. What did I rub good? Oh, the, the you're talking about the, the canoe. I miss old GMK trays. Even if they're busted, they were better than the current crap. Wow, you sound like a boomer. <laughs> How come you don't have all the alphabet on the keyboard you just pulled out? How come you don't have all the alphabet? What are you talking about? Are you talking about the canoe? Ooh, this one here. We should have a redemption making you take a sip of the correct the correct way. I was thinking about adding a redemption to uh, grab a random crystal from the mineral collection. <laughs> Evening, Mr. Thax. What up, Crab? How you doing? Hey, hi, how you doing? I'm super interested in this keyboard, but I'm curious. Can left-handed folks use this board? Dude, I'm left-handed. What are you talking about? Of course they can. I, um, so I am left-handed, um, but I don't like southpaw boards. Uh, X little man, I'm a lefty and I prefer this layout to a southpaw. So funny fact, fun fact is, uh, so X little man is my brother, right? We live together. Um, we are both left-handed, but both of our parents are right-handed. Don't know how that happened. I knew you were sus. Busy Timmy, you should change your name to Sussy Timmy, all right? Get out of town. Current GMK trays are embarrassing. Yeah. All right, stabs all look quite nice. I don't hear any ticking, so we're good to go on that front. Enter is crooked. Is that better? They are they are clip-ins, so they're not gonna be like perfectly straight unless we do toothpick mod it. But uh, it's pretty much as good as it's gonna get. That's pretty straight. I'm a lefty and won't ever buy a southpaw. Already conditioned to use the numpad with my right. Yep, same. But then you have to reach across the board to use a knob if you're a lefty. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I don't I don't I don't personally like southpaw boards. The farthest I'll go is the uh, is like a 378 or a uh, or a Trinity XT where you have the macro column on the left. I'm okay with that, but a numpad I'm I'm too conditioned for the right. Okay, I have a confession to make. I'm not even left-handed. I'm sorry. Dude, you're you just lied to 150 people. How do you feel? How how are you ever going to repent for your sins? That's it's pretty toxic, man. No one rocking Daiso tubs for caps with me? Oof, I um I rock the uh do I have any here? I don't. I use the container store ones. They're uh they're pretty cheap too, they're like four bucks. But those are my favorite um, tubs. What's the bottom row layout? We'll find out because there's a lot of options here. I was trying to mimic Upa's um, layout that he had in his uh, group by pictures because I'd assume that's his preferred layout. So we'll go back to that and try and mimic that because um, I am not keeping this board. I'm sending it back. Hey Ryan, is time real? What's real? Goddamn, Violet and Cream looks so great. Would have bought it instantly if I was into keyboards back then. Dude, Violet and Cream extras were in stock for so long. So long. Crazy. I 
I mean, I'm just asking the questions that need to be asked. I'm sorry, I'm new to key. Get the frick out of town. <laughs> Justice for lefties. Don't even get me started on scissors. Yeah, so I'm left-handed, but I use scissors with my right hand. Um, it's it's so refreshing to use a stiff plate. Um, most most of the boards I build nowadays have have like a PC plate or an umwipe plate or something where I have to physically hold the plate up to clip the screws in. With the brass plate, it's it makes my job easy. And I will note that the uh, the inner fillets on these switch holes are uh, are quite perfect. Not too tight uh, where it binds the switch, but also also not too loose either. Vok, high key, wish I did R5. I agree, brass is OP. I love brass and alley. Can't beat yo. Exactly. That's why uh, Heine and I are uh, same mind. You're not allowed to run an R a set in R4 ever again. I'd probably agree with that. Which leg do you step with when you throw? I usually use my middle. This guy. <laughs> All right, bud. <laughs> FR4 pisses me off putting switches in. FR4 is not even that bad. Try an umwipe plate or a, or a PC plate. Who is Ally? ALY? Where? <laughs> Mill. Okay, bud. I have titanium scissors from Fiskers that are a are Ambi. Oh, my uh, my brother just bought lefty scissors. <laughs> Okay, big question. When you use a notebook as a lefty and the spiral, dude, don't, you wanna know what I do when the when I'm using a notebook and the spiral is, so if you guys are not a lefty, when you use a notebook and you open it to write in it, your hand is literally on the spiral, right? Cause on a, as a right, so what I do is I buy these. This is how I get around it. <laughs> I literally buy top flipping ones so that my hand isn't blocked by the spiral. That's how I get around it. <laughs> Raz, who are you uh, who are you referring to? Couldn't you just open it from the back? Yeah. You could. So I'm I'm pretty messed up. Um I I write with my left hand. I kick with my left foot. I play pool. Lefty, I think. Um, but I bat righty. I throw righty. I shoot a basketball righty. So I'm kind of all messed up. I kick lefty and I throw righty. So I'm literally just like... <laughs> Basically, you live with it, yeah. Can't you just open it from the back? You could, but then the big portion's upside down. Yo, Busy Timmy gifted a tier one to Avo. Let's go, bud. Thank you for that. Imagine riding on paper in 2021. Do you play hockey righty? I do. Anything that involves like swinging, I do righty. You even use the mouse with your right hand. Does anyone use a mouse with their left hand? Even if you are lefty? Do you guys know, have you ever, I don't know if I've ever witnessed someone using a mouse with their left hand. Ryan casually flexing his ambidextrous gifts. Dude, they were a freaking hassle. What are you talking about? I think I'm ambidextrous because I had to, I'm a lefty, but then I had to uh, cope with a righty's world. <laughs> Our writing system means we smear our writing. Dude, don't get me started. I've smeared way too much as a lefty. I tried for a bit when I was younger. Yeah. I use my mouse in my left hand. No, you don't. Don't lie. Don't lie. When I have Cheeto dust on my right hand. <laughs> okay. I'm right-handed, but can kick equally well with both legs. I, I mean, a lot of soccer players can do that as well. 
I'm lefty, but I use my mouse on my right hand. Yeah. My uncle used a mouse with his left hand and swapped right click to left click. And interesting. That's pretty boomer. Guys, we need to save all this interesting conversation for the solder section when the stream. Oh, so you don't you don't want a story during the solder section? Is that what you're telling me? Can you guys tell I'm casually avoiding this bottom row? Because it scares me. Whatever gets you slowing down is okay with me. Yo. Man's got points riding on this. Yikes. Do you give high fives with your left? Dude, come on. <laughs> Which way do you play Guitar Hero? I play Guitar Hero this way. Is this... Which way, which way is this? <laughs> Normal? Righty? You play righty. Yes, I play righty. Dude, T-Pain is streaming right now. I hope I hope I finish and he's still alive. We're raiding T-Pain tonight if he's still alive. Please remind me. I got my first ever Alice this week and I kinda don't wanna go back. Do you find yourself kinda sticking to that layout for a good while? Um, yeah, but not too long. I, uh, after a while, I, I mean, in the beginning it's a little bit daunting switching to an Alice style board and then switching back to normal. Um, but uh, I can pretty much interchange pretty pretty quickly now. I was a lefty forced to right with my right, kick with my left, and shoot basketball with left, everything else righty. That sounds like me. Do you follow any sports, Ryan? The NBA draft is going on. Dude, I um, I don't follow any sports at all. Uh, I played like every sport growing up, but I, um, I enjoy sports. I enjoy going to sporting events. Uh, I just, I'm just not, uh, I'm not one to watch sports. Imagine if cars went by preferred side rather than country. That'd be pretty funny. I'm sure resale on left-handed cars would be uh, pretty atrocious though. Where do you see the mouse in this photo? Wow. Dude, that's a sick setup. Is that your setup? That's pretty slick. Dude, I think I'm the only... <laughs> What's going on on the right side though? What was that? What's that cut out for? <laughs> I think I'm the only keyboard streamer or streamer in general that uses one monitor. I literally only have one monitor. Do you play badminton? I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a casual badminton player. Yeah, but it's 34 inch. That's true, that's true. Do you use one monitor? I use two monitors at work. I use two at work. I have to have two because I'll have like all my like stock screeners and everything on one side and then I have like my, my left side for uh, Excel and whatever. But I have to always have my tickers up so that, that pretty much always occupies one screen. Cutout on the right side, I'm confused. The, uh, that like hole in the wall, the cutout. <laughs> All right, let's tackle this bottom row, shall we? Um, I believe the layout, let's go to the balance keyboard. So it looks like he was using these with a normal. So we're gonna go here, 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 and here. And then we're doing a winky in the middle.
like so. I believe that's the layout. Yes, yes. Do you ever use the Bloomberg terminal? I don't use the Bloomberg terminal. I do not. <laughs> it's a pocket door? Oh, interesting. <laughs> ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Got it. All right. Let's take a look here. So, this looks like it's going to be... I'm going to put this on for good measure. Everyone has a different way of doing this. This is how I do it. So you want to make sure, so right, so if you solder it like this, it's going to be incorrect, right? Because these, these two need to be flush. Um, so we'll take this one out. Oh, I did just get this in from Swag Keys. Check this out. I haven't used it yet, though. I haven't used it. So we're going to do a maiden voyage right now. Let's try it out. That's a nice grip. Okay. All right. There we go. So these are flush. That means we're good to go. Lowell should review the Bloomberg terminal keyboard. Yo. <laughs> I've already converted two guys in the office to mechanical keyboards. Two guys that are, one of them is, they're both, one's in the 50s and one's in his 40s. And uh, I've converted, they both have purchased mechanical keyboards. <laughs> My switches go flying half the time when I use mine. Yo. <laughs> Hello. Yo, Sandy is in the building. Is <laughs> Jason was here earlier. I don't know where he, if maybe he's still here. Seems like you care a lot more about this than Apiary. Her stream of this seemed so rush. Oh, I care about all my builds. What are you talking about? I'm glad you noticed. I, uh, I have an affinity towards this layout as well. So um, this is my favorite layout for work. I used to use a TX-108 for work. The thing was freaking huge. Uh, but then I realized I don't need the F-Row. So I've slimmed down. I, I went from a TX-108. <laughs> Why are you not bugging Ryan live? <laughs> I'll tell you guys about my work, my work board journey, but um, tomorrow night, I don't know if we're uh, supposed to announce it or not, but Teha is having his subathon, and uh, Sandy, Tony, and I are gonna head up there. So uh, I'm not streaming tomorrow night, but uh, I'll be uh, I'll be on Teha's on stream probably. <laughs> Rip banana board, friggin' Jason, what's his handle? He subscribed. He figured out how to subscribe. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I totally forgot that Heidi followed, uh, Heidi followed Meredith. Yo, where's my YSL bag? <laughs> Ryan is a man of his craft. Every board gets love besides the ones he throws on his bed haphazardly. Wow, bud. Yo, that's great. Um, <laughs> but, uh... That's awesome. I wear it as a badge of honor that I converted a couple of guys in the office to wearing nice mechanical watches. Ooh, yes, definitely, definitely. All right, so now we're gonna put the win key on there. Make sure that fits cruising. I'm too invested in this Heine X Mare story. <laughs> Ryan has it, it's purple. What do I have? What? Sandy, are you typing on your 7V? We're doing this one. There we go. Do I need to move this over one? Oh, maybe we can't do this light. Wait, what? Hello? Maybe I have to use this. I think I gotta use the uh, a different layout. I'm not even subscribed right now. Isn't that what the Prime Gaming is? Shoot, we might have to use the, um, the bigger. Let me put this. You should be able to do that layout. I thought so, but look. 
Is this not? <laughs> Heidi Bush gifted a tier one sub to Sandy. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for gifting Sandy a, a tier one sub. I came to Sunrite, but they're out of Honey Boba again? That is a travesty. Heidi with the clutch. I think, I think maybe we have to ro rock the triple bottom row. Let's try. So I think this one needs to be over here with that alt, and then we can use this space bar. No, I think we gotta rock the bigger alt, bigger one over here. And then pop this one over. Maybe it's, I think it's this brass plate. It's fine, we're gonna do a, uh, we're gonna go with my layout. This is my preferred layout. Right, so you have, there we go. Monkers, what's up, Heiny? All right, and then we're gonna go, oof, alt there. This is why we always test caps beforehand. We gotta move it over even one. Damn, there's so many options with this bottom row. We gotta go further, further than we ever have. No, I think the right side has to be different. Imagine, are we getting drunk with Teha tomorrow? I don't know, is Teha gonna drink on his stream? I think this is the layout we're going with. Is Teha Subathon? Teha Subathon is tomorrow. Is that like a Monka layout or is that fine? I think that's fine, right? Let me try the top case with this. Yeah, there we go. My body is ready. Good God, the bottom row is so cursed. Wow. <laughs> I think that works. This is a very, a very a functional bottom row. Do what your heart desires. My heart desires this, this bottom row right now. So that's what we're going to go with. Your heart is best up. Okay, bud. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think if Heine's, uh, Heine, if Sandy's not too jet lagged uh, tomorrow, then we're gonna go to uh, Teja Subathon. All right, bottom rows cruising. Oof. I'm gonna solder this first and then we'll do the uh, rotary encoder at the end. You guys gotta remind me though. <laughs> 1.5. All right, so we got, on this bottom row, we do have 1.5, 1U, 1.5, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25. 1, 5, 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 5. That is indeed correct. BRB bringing my plant babies into my room. Oh, did you already pick them up? When will Sandy be coming on stream to share her Italy stories? Ooh. Maybe I'll have Sandy build a, build a, another board and share some Italy stories. All right, let's make sure that all of our, uh, our pins came through. These were brand new switches, so the pins are uh, pretty straight. Looking good. Don't want any bogeys while I'm doing my speed soldering test here. I do have one. No, I don't. That's a sideways one. Moly moly, tier one for five months. Yeehaw. Moly moly, what are you typing on? What are you, what are you typing on tonight? When I build my Kaze alpaca. Heine, you're not... Are, why do I keep calling Sandy Heine? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sandy, you're not supposed to tell him about the Kaze alpaca. Come on. 
Yo, oh, Ozzy with the, what's up, Ozzy? Freudian slip, Heine Sue? Well, don't give Heine any ideas. He would change his name to that. <laughs> Sandy Heine, I think Sa Heine, Sandy, Raz, Sandy has an IE, okay? Get it right. Get it right, get it tight. <laughs> Heine equals Sandy, this is known. <laughs> Dude, my neck is getting even like more and more tight as the night goes on. That's why I'm like, this freaking pulled strain muscle is killing me. I need to go get some Ibuprofen. All right. Your neck, your back, my, and my. <laughs> Michael, I did one of those things where I dr I'm drying my hair and it like, and I have a pinched nerve in my back. Get a Theracane, those things are, dude, the Theracane destroys. I've used one multiple times. You know, I know, I wonder why, hang on, my lighting is off. I knew I was going to do that. I changed my lighting and then, uh, let me put these back. There we go. I changed it for it to take pictures and then it was too dark. I'm sorry about that. No one told me, huh? Gets you every time. Dude, not cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was typing on Sandy 7 v today and it's pretty spicy. Although she still has my lat on there that I'm going to need back. Mm. Ozzy was just saying hi to you. Need back? It's hers now. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go buy one of those like, you know the, the caps that look like uh, a latriolum? The ones that you can buy on like Etsy for like six bucks and they just look kind of like that? I'm gonna go swap that one out. She won't notice. Don't worry. I'm rocking a 7V right now. I like you. Dude, the 7V is sick. If you like a 75%, out of all the 75s out right now, I think the 7V is my favorite. <laughs> wood or brick? Which one are you talking about, wood or brick? Oh, Tiny is raiding with a party of 94. What's up, Tiny the Tiny Raid? Let's freaking go. Tiny, I was watching your, your channel earlier. I had to leave. I had to leave when... Um, to get ready for my stream. And I left at the part where you were talking about the tramp stamp on the on the butt. <laughs> and when you said, uh, you can bring your own tat. <laughs> What's up, Tiny? <laughs> I was like, damn it, did I really have to leave right now? <laughs> the Tiny Raid comes. Let's go. How, you, how are you, Tiny? We are building a, uh, a an effortless compact called the Balance tonight. Um, that Cannon Keys is offering starting tomorrow. So look at that, look at that timing. You got a wrap for Tiny now? Oh my goodness, no way. I can't even come close to Tiny, you joking my ass? Every time I try and sing, I get yelled at. Every time I try and sing, I get yelled at. <laughs> Seven V's a Charizard to Keeps right now, let's be honest, yo. I'll have to get you one of those booties and you can draw your own tramp. Yes, please, please. <laughs> I need some tiny artisans in my life. Ryan talks about needing mature rating, discusses tramp. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Honest question, if you had to sing one song, what would it be? Can I not, can I not pick like happy birthday? That's, that's pretty much a cop out, right? Ryan, would you please consider the tape mod? It's easy to install and remove. I've been hearing about this tape mod. I think I was in Italy when tape mod became popular. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so let me show you guys for the Raiders that just joined. So this is the, um, the board we're building tonight. Look at that purple, pretty spicy. Wow, deflected. <laughs> you didn't answer. Is the birthday song um, an okay answer? Uh, let's see, if I had to pick one song. I would probably sing 
Mike Jones, <laughs> or Paul Wall. <laughs> Happy birthday isn't a song, it is a ritual. Back then, hoes didn't want me. Now I'm hot, hoes all on me. <laughs> or, or still tipping on faux foes, wrapped in faux vogues. Who? Mike Jones. Who? The one and only you can't clone me. Got a lot of haters, a lot of homies. Some friends, some phonies. There you go. That's all the rapping you're gonna get. 830-8004. Mike Jones about to low. Mike Jones about to blow. <laughs> Can you rap that in Korean? The only Korean I know is apple bottom jeans. Till they get murdered, Yermi. Ain't satisfied till they get murdered, Yermi. <laughs> oh damn, do I want the black and purple now? Sadly, extremely sadly, I don't know, I don't know if people's tastes were on a hiatus when when the when the colors were being picked, but this color didn't win. This got one of the lowest um, um, selections, so this color is not going to be in the uh, group buy. Yeah. <laughs> oh damn, dude. little facts. We're we're gonna tiny. I'm gonna parlay your raid once we finish this. I'm gonna parlay that into T Pain because I think I think he's still alive. We're gonna hit up T Pain once I finish this. I hope he's still alive because I was telling them when I raided him last time, he called me little facts. <laughs> And and um, you know, I don't think I've ever been more proud <laughs> It's saying that gray lilac is an option, but assuming from what you said, it's not the same. Yeah, this one's gonna be black lilac <laughs> Little facts. I love it. I was like, you know, I'm not gonna correct T-Pain whatever he says We're gonna go with it <laughs> But um, but yeah, so we uh, we're building this yo Checks over stripes. Let's go tier one for three months in advance. Have I ever even seen that before? What does that even mean? Tier one for three. Is that is that for is that three months you just subscribed for? What a legend! You're a legend and a scholar. We are building with lilacs. Wait, you live again? How many days this week? I know, right? Who am I? <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't change your name to Lil Fax. Dude, I probably should at this point, huh? <laughs> Checks over Stripe is the one who won the last Nerd Nest. Oh, snap. You're right. Woof. Woof. Let's go. Um, so these will these will match pretty good here. I love the look of Lavenders. That, that, that purple is super nice. Lil, Lil Fax spinning Lil Fax. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys are gonna make Lil Fax a thing again. <laughs> for the nerd nest, you're right. Let's go. Thank you for that. Um, but yeah, so I would yo, know, Pew Pew laser gifted a tier one to tiny. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you for the gifted tier one, Pew Pew. Um I still think that that lavenders are probably my go-to switch uh, for linears if I'm not gonna spring swap if I'm not gonna lube and I'm not going to film if I'm gonna use switches stock I think lavenders are my go-to um, as far as tactiles probably uh, pewters at the moment are my favorite but I haven't tried any of the newer Durox Ryan can you rap baby got back <laughs> Sir, <laughs> I told you guys I can't rap. All right, Mike Jones is the only one that I know. I really like this layout, but the f dude, it's not freaking a phallic arrow cluster. Get out of here. I think when we have the switches in, it's not gonna look like that. Okay, it's just a, it's like a, a T handle Allen wrench. All right. Can you rap the French Prince of <laughs> French? All right, the truly's kicking in. Have you guys heard of the French Prince of Bel Air? <laughs> the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh, West Philadelphia, born and raised out the playground when I spent most of my days. <laughs> when a couple of guys that were up to no good started making trouble in the neighborhood. Got one little fight, my mom got scared. Said you're moving with your auntie and your uncle Bel Air. Okay. 
We're done. All right. Anyways, let's get to soldering. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I think I skipped like a whole section, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. Did I skip a section or was that the whole thing? What should I do to get a nerd design so Socrates? Oof. I don't know if there's going to be more made. I'll show you it real quick though. So that's the, that's the artisan he's talking about there. Some word here and there, you did like 20% of it. <laughs> oh yes, Heine has, all right. <laughs> I'm literally calling anyone's name that ends in a Y tonight, Heine. <laughs> Tiny. Tiny has one, yes. Bro, that's nice. Yeah, he did a fantastic job with this artisan. You can see the little, uh, the little Kaze logo for the eyes. Kind of cool, right? Super detailed, super detailed. How much alcohol do you need in your system to wrap some Hamilton? What's Hamilton? Apparently a lot. Tiny, Sandy, Heiny, okay, dude. <laughs> Can you do some Daft Punk while you're at it? Yo, Nerdness so pretty, yo. What's up, Mech Mahler? I appreciate that. How does one get a nerd nest? So we are going to be uh, launching the nerd nest. Um, I would say probably within the next month here. Uh, we got a, a big shipment of the first round coming in. It's going to be in stock. That's why I haven't been. I've been keeping it low key uh, because it's not going to be a group buy. It's going to be a uh, hey, these are in stock. Grab it while it's hot. <laughs> Hamilton musical. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you rap beatbox? I cannot beatbox. Need the oh Heine and Tiny need to do a collab and call it the Tiny Heinies. <laughs> Want to touch the Heiny? All right, you guys have dilly-dallied me enough here. I gotta, I gotta solder this. Solder it. Burp, burp, burp. Added to the collection, oh God. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, don't tell anyone. Tiny Heiny featuring Sandy, all right. How can we make a 1 100th scale mold of my ass? <laughs> you know what? That would be pretty legendary. But that would that'd be pretty funny if Heine did that, but then didn't tell anyone. And then like once like hundreds of people buy it and put it on the boards, he can say that he has a mold of his ass on everyone's keyboard. That, that would be pretty epic. <laughs> Music sounds better with you. <laughs> Dude, I have such a bad singing voice. Please stop making me doing that. All right, uh, solder. Solder. Don't solder on your desk mat like me. It'll ruin it. Get yourself a soldering mat. It's actually drawn on every H87 and H88. <laughs> Like the, like the DN. <laughs> I gotta move to Cali so I can catch some more lol sack streams. Too late west of west coast. Where are you, where are you at? Yeah, it's only 846 here, but hey. Tomorrow's Friday. Freaking A. Tomorrow's Friday. Stoked. It's been a long week. We got Tejas Subathon tomorrow night. That'll be pretty legendary. That's where I'm gonna be at. It's already Friday here. Get wrecked. Damn, that was pretty toxic. <laughs> Dude, I haven't I haven't had someone tell me get wrecked since like my last Overwatch game. <laughs> and that was like a year ago. <laughs> Freaking get wrecked, dude. <laughs> Gotta get down on Friday. Looking forward to the weekend. My hand is a dolphin. Okay, I'm gonna go uh use the little boys room real quick. Give me one second.
All right, I'll be back. That was Jinte, by the way. Hopefully you guys caught that. Rebecca Black, no. Gotta love the casual bed boards. <laughs> I don't have bed buds, bed bugs, I have bed boards. The pasta is overcooked? What pasta? It's called pasta. Wait, doesn't everyone sleep with their keyboards? <laughs> is that? I should, dude, I have to. I, I, had, a, I had a casualty. I had a, a fat, fat casualty the other day. And it really, it hurts me to talk about it. I'm very embarrassed. But I'll tell you guys because we're friends. I don't put any keyboards on the ground anymore. So if I do that, please tell me to put it on the freaking bed. I had, I had the 378. I showed it, I put it on the floor. And then I had the ZT boards noon and I put it on the floor. And I got done streaming, I got up and I kicked the 378 into the noon. The 378 fully dented the noon. Fat dent. 378, not a mark. <laughs> 378, not a mark. It was perfect. But it completely dented the noon. Anyways, don't be like me. Do not put keyboards on your floor. The Knox reboard is just too strong. It's, it's built different, apparently. Yeah, I kicked it and like that sound of metal on metal. I was like, no. Three, seven, dude, what's up, Jinte? That's that dual mount. That's that shit I do like. Now try it with the, I'm not trying it ever again. <laughs> oh, show us the, do you guys want to see the dent? You really want to like make me relive it? You want to see the dent? This man playing bumper boards with his feet? I know, dude. <laughs> All right, let me, I'll grab the board real quick. I'll show you the dent and then we're soldering. Ugh, I hope Phil's not watching. Ugh. So bumming, so bumming. <laughs> when are the underground board fight clubs gonna open up? Yikes. Yeah, I uh. Oh. Look at that, look at that dent. Big. Frickin' yikes. Big yikes. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Okay, back. Oh my god, he hasn't even soldered? What the frickin' what? What emojis did you just use there? It's fine. Ouch. Oof. I'll buy it off you for 35. A minus stock. <laughs> B stock scuffed <laughs> half off discount. Wow. I think if you put some super glue ramen and reano it should be good. Probably, huh? <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, Doge? Well, you've been streaming near three hours and haven't soldered yet. No way. Jinte, you act like you've never seen one of my streams before. <laughs> I'm the complete opposite of ramen. <laughs> I mean, Tony, sorry. Literally, that's what Bondo is for. I know, right? It's how Mech Madness 2022 is going to be run. <laughs> Sandy, you came right in time. Obviously, uh, you came back, so it's soldering time. Soldering! Alright. Ramen Champ builds. What happened to that guy, bro? I know, right? <laughs> The way you described the dent, I thought the board folded into itself. Nah, dude, I'm not that strong of a kicker. Come on. That's why I didn't make the soccer team. All right, here we go. The fan is turning on. How sturdy is the Cloudline Proto? I know, right? Maybe I should, uh, 
if uh, if I get sent the cloud line proto, I'll do a uh, a board fight for you guys. Look, just because Ryan took his build time tips from Kimchi isn't okay. <laughs> All right. I heard you've been having a secret affair with Heine. Is this true? <laughs> uh, definitely not. That, that's uh, that's Meredith. That's Meredith. <laughs> All right. We're soldering. Some truth? Oh, God. Jason's still here. You guys are... Oh, frick! I gotta do the Teemo hat. Shit. Hey, you guys are supposed to be on my side. All right, we got the Teemo hat today. Here we go. Hut, two, three, freaking four. Did we start the timer? We did not yet. <laughs> First time I'm twitching. Please don't call it twitching. Oh my God. <laughs> Put the New York hat on top. You really gonna make me go get my New York hat, Jinte? Please be sure to miss a couple or solder in something wrong. All right, I'll do that for Sandy too, since she's a, a Yankees fan. Hang on. For the flex, bro. It's for the flex. <laughs> this, this, this reminds me. I got to show you guys something. So, so... Sandy said that if I ever, if I ever do this again, she's gonna, she's gonna break up with me. But on stream, it doesn't count. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, you gotta put it over the eyebrows. <laughs> All right, here we go. No one's clipping that. This is for Jinte. We got the, uh, we got, this doesn't even freaking fit. Doesn't even fit. <laughs> you look like Limp Biscuit. Oh my God. <laughs> Bad boy. <laughs> Why would you break up with that magnificent beast? That got me hot. Oh, okay. Dude, this is gonna fall off while I'm soldering, and it's gonna. This is this is not safe. This is not safe. Here, is this better for the instead of a Teemo hat? Is that better? Fred Durst. Sada, sada, ha sada, 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 sada. <laughs> Little Thax in the house. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm getting way too carried away here. Okay. Timo had it is. Timo had it is. I keep rolling, rolling, rolling. You gotta keep rolling. <laughs> Milan ain't over. I'm going back. September warning. Wow. <laughs> Stop. Okay, okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Wow. Jeez. All right, here we go. Soldering time. Serious business. Gotta, gotta play some magical cups here. All right, 8.58, clock is starting. Don't solder upside down, don't be an idiot. What did you give him? Uh, I think I had too much coffee. That's what it was. Okay, here we go. As a lefty, do you wish you held the iron with your right or do you not care? Um, I only wish I had it on my right because my fan is on the right of my desk. 
So it would be nice to put it on the right instead of having the cable come out left. I'll keep rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> All right, I got to go to bed. See ya, Sandy Sue, and <laughs> later, Jason. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Sorry you didn't get any good stories tonight. Daughters for Nookie. <laughs> Keep reading chat. What the? Uh, why don't you retell the WoW story, Mister? Uh, I think we already told the WoW story. I think um, I think that one's already been said. <laughs> Sandy really wants to hear it. Yeah, tell me. I already told her. Get out of here. I think I think what we should focus on with that story is the fact that I did not give in to peer pressure. And I did not make a fool of myself. For all I know, she has a compilation of... Uh, of people doing it, all right? And I'm not gonna be one to be added to that. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> You invited? I did not. Are you kidding me? That is not how the story went down. I did not invite her to a personal ventrilo. <laughs> Listen, Ryan, just do yours and I'll do mine. I'll go first. <laughs> Next, you're going to be saying it was my idea. <laughs> Imagine using vent, right? Dude, Ventrilo was the shit. I remember if you had your own vent server, it was like, damn, this guy's got his own vent server. This story will never be forgotten. Great. This is why I don't tell you guys stories. Was it? Hello? Was what? No! I joined the team vent server. <laughs> Sandy, tell us his most embarrassing story. Besides him wearing his hat backward. Okay. That's not embarrassing. Alright, Fred Durst, I bet you he gets all the ladies.
<laughs> pew pew, watch it, all right? All right, let's uh, you know what? Let's let's be a little bit more more uh, professional here, okay? Let me go to uh. <laughs> While I'm soldering, I'm gonna go over some of the. Uh... I don't know. Did I do anything? I don't think we had any embarrassing stories from Italy. I mean, could you guys see me doing anything embarrassing? I didn't think so. I guess the bee sting- Dude, that's not my fault. That was not my- Dude, that was not a bee. It was a wasp. It was a freak European wasp. My arm swelled up. I thought I might have to go to the hospital. I told them to stop being a baby and got in trouble. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Cause your mom knows how much pain I was in. Drama queen. I did not cry. I did not cry. Come on. Last time I got stung by a wasp was right on my finger. It hurt so bad. I didn't. Okay. What would you eat again right now if you could? Dude, they had this amazing, um, uh, <laughs> it was a yellowtail, um, uh, what's it called? Oh my God, why am I blanking? Carpaccio, a yellowtail carpaccio. That was absolutely fantastic. Do European wasps talk about baguettes and gabagool la more? Okay, Sir Hedge, you better watch it. I did not actually cry, come on. Did y'all go to the gelato place with the silver tops at the back of Trevi Fountain? Shoot, I don't know. What was it called? Ooh, the lobster and red prawn linguine. That's true, that's true. You got the house. I did get the house. I did get the house. I got the, uh... The British racing green one. Got real defensive about that crying, Ryan. Pretty sus. All right, bud. All right, bud. Speaking of which, Ryan supposedly speaks Spanish, but couldn't. Dude. I tried speaking Spanish to the Italians and I feel like it was like more disrespectful than speaking English. How flooded was Venice? I hear it's getting pretty bad now on the reg. It wasn't flooded. Yeah, it wasn't flooded at all when we went. Like 0%. Why would you speak? Because it's similar. Spanish is similar to Italian. <laughs> is, there, is that new gate system they made in place yet? Apparently the project was a decade. Yeah, I don't think it's in, it's in, um, uh, in place yet. I think that's going to be a huge project.
there, there are some similarities better than English. That is correct. <laughs> Did Italy have Ferraris that were more than you could afford, pal? Dude, honestly, I was, um, I was shocked that I didn't see too many exotic cars when I was over there. But I think it was maybe just the, uh, the cities that we're in were not really, they were all cobblestone and like Venice, there's no cars. Oh, did I got pickpocketed? Was it all Fiat? Dude, there were a ton of Fiats and like mini cars. So Sandy did get pickpocketed, um, which was kind of crazy. Um, so we were sitting, we were, we were grabbing lunch. Robbed? How rude! I know, and tons of tons of Vespas and motorcycles. My pickpocketer definitely earned it. He had mad skills. Yeah, so we were eating lunch outside. Uh, I was sitting next to Sandy, and then her mom was sitting across from her. And um, apparently, this guy sat at the table behind Sandy. And uh, Sandy had her purse, like, um, draped over the chair. And the guy apparently put his jacket, like, kind of near her purse. And in the time that we were eating got into her purse, got into her wallet, unzipped her wallet, took all of her cash, only her cash, and then left and got up and walked away. And when we went to go pay, Sandy um, was like, oh, like, that's weird, my wallet's unzipped, when she never leaves it unzipped. And then all her, all her cash was gone. So, um, this was double, doubly shitty because I... <laughs> None of, none of her cash in there was hers. I was asking her to hold my cash for me. So in reality, I'm the one who got robbed. Need level 99 thieving to pickpocket a Sandy Sue. Apparently not. That Calamarly restaurant also legally pickpocketed you as well. Dude, I know, that don't remind me, please. Leaks got JPEG from Elaine on Jag V2? That didn't work. Did I? Are you trolling me? At least he didn't take any cards, right? Why couldn't you keep your own money in your own... San Sandy keeps telling me to buy a freaking purse. I'm not going to carry a purse. I don't want to carry one of those, like, man purses. So it's like... Oh no, her purse is big. It has enough for the both of us. All right, I'm done. Done. <laughs> Time, time's up. How are we, how are we looking? Get a fanny pack thing? I don't want to carry that. What was the over under? Eighteen? Damn, dude, I did good on that one. Woof. And I told the story. Are you guys proud of me or what? Man purses are European handbags over there, Ryan. I know, dude. I just I, I don't like I don't like holding shit in my hands. Hence why I give it to Sandy to hold in her purse. I don't like things in my pockets. I don't like holding things. I use a Nike box to carry my keyboard. Guess what happened? A dent. <laughs> Believers finally win. Yo, this is true. I'm pretty alert. Takes a pro pickpocketer to steal from me. Yeah, that was like the craziest thing about it was like, so she has a purse and then she has like a nice like Saint Laurent um, wallet. The guy could have just put his hand in, took the wallet, walked away. But instead, he puts both hands in, unzips it, takes just her cash and leaves everything else. Like you'd think it would have been a lot faster for him to just like, whoop. If he's gonna unzip it, I don't know. Kind of crazy. Is the butt of this board also purple? You can bet your bottom dollar it is. You need that shoulder body strap in your shirt, right? <laughs> I'm calling foul on no encoder. Oh, we do. We have to do the encoder still, but that only counts as a couple pins. Wow, I didn't even think of that. Where is the encoder? Hello? 
Hello. <laughs> I know someone who got pickpocketed in Berlin steals his phone. Phone was crash screen. The guy said that <laughs> take it back and returned it. Yikes. Um, I've, I've never soldered an encoder, so, uh, how we do this? How we do? Oh, it looks pretty simple. Three and two. <laughs> this one's a little bit bent. There we go. Do I solder all these bad boys? All, all, all of these? Do I solder all of them? <laughs> I was walking next to a wall so the attack angle is less. They go through my side strap, first flap, go through two zipper, and got my... Dude. Oof. That's a big, big hit right there. The day I got pickpocketed was seriously the only day I looked like a hobo. She, Sandy looked like she just got done surfing, is what she was wearing. Like, literally, like a sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah. Shorts and flip flops. <laughs> Do I solder all of these pins? Is that what we're doing? I've never owned a board with an encoder before. <laughs> I've probably built like 80 keyboards at this point. Never done one with an encoder. Yeah, Sandy, did you have the bird nest that night, that day too? <laughs> the place is called Il Gelato di San Crispino. Sandy, look that one up and see if we if we went there. Solder the ones with pads, probably all of them. Okay. Thank you for that. Dude, this one's like a huge ass pad. Timo had is blocking the board. <laughs> Yes, with the bird nest. This is the biggest pad I ever did solder. <sighs> All right, let's test her out. Rigged soldering casino tonight. Wow. That's in Rome. We were up north in Milan most of the time. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's fancy. All right. Uh, so we're going to take our daughter board here that is still on the little spaceship. And uh, I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to uh, test it out before we put it in the board. Easy clap. All right, open up our key tester here. Why am I still wearing the Timo hat? I don't freaking know. Looks like we are indeed in business. All right, unplug. Cats up. 
Hey Ryan, do you have the 378 on hand? Dude, I don't. I actually just, uh, Darian came over and uh, wanted to borrow it for a typing test. So if you go to Darian's YouTube, it's on his YouTube, but I don't have the 378 on hand. He currently has it because he wanted to borrow it. What is your favorite condiment? Yes, it is ketchup. Can I get you joker mass? You freaking joker mass. All right. Unplug that. Unplug that. All right, time to assemble. Autobots, assemble. Let's freaking go. Darren is pumping sound tests left and right. Very enjoyable. Nice. I'm way too lazy to do uh, sound tests after my builds. I should probably do that with boards, huh? But uh, <laughs> uh, Darian's been uh, been taking some boards for sound tests. There goes my good hair day. Is that good? Manageable? Passable? Passable. Show me your moves. If you could be any Transformer or Decepticon, who would you choose? Bumblebee, dude. He's a legend. Do you guys know what that's from? Show me your moves. That'll really date me. Wow. Damn. You guys are good. How about Falco Bodge? All right, how are we doing this here? So we put, I think we gotta put this together first, right? We gotta speed it down, I'm assuming. Don't tell me, don't tell me, it's it's a secret, it's a puzzle, I wanna, fi I wanna figure it out. I'm gonna do this, and I did it my way. Smash Bros. Melee ain't that old. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was from the original. Up kick. How about, how about, try? Try? Melee is not fun when you have a sweaty sibling three stalking you every time. Yo. <laughs> Falcom taunt goaded. He still goes show me your moves in Smash. Oh, he does. Okay, okay, okay. Learning how to short hop was difficult for me. Dude, I used to love Super Smash. PK Fire. <laughs> All right. Um... I think we're gonna do this. I'm building this um, how I think is best, okay? Don't yell at me, do not yell. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put in screws, 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 screws. I'm not tightening this one down all the way quite yet. Ryan looks like he'd be ice climbers every match, dude. Yeah, right. I only played normal Super Smash, not Melee very much. But, um... I, uh... In normal Super Smash, I was Pikachu a lot. Mia Rose build win? Yikes. <laughs> I just spam jump with Kirby. Dude, you're that guy, huh? Just spam jump and do the brick. That's all you do the entire freaking round. The Miro's Kaze build date is still TBD. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? So I'm gonna plug this puppy in. Let's see if this works. And I'm assuming we can just kind of feed the cable back in? Is that gonna work? That should work, right? Yeah. I did it, I did it. I did it. It's mine, I spend it. I always played Fox on N64 Smash. I was obsessed with Star Fox when I was a kid for some reason. Yo.
Yo, Melee as a kid was the game you bought because you saw Mario and Pikachu fighting on the cover and then ended up playing as a weird Eskimo couple and black and white monstrosity you'd never heard of in your life. 200 hour, damn, dude. Hey, uh, hey, Avo. Does, uh, Fox do a barrel roll? <laughs> Someone has to be Kirby and I'm the man enough to take the job. All right. Kirby's always the one that you kick off the edge and you think you beat him and then he comes back. Bueno build, took a two hour nap, back in time. Wow, took a two hour nap. Didn't help your toxic, no. What's up, Bueno? I would spam Link's bombs, dude. You were that guy, huh? The, the link with the try. I love he can put on those little hats. It was super cute. <laughs> All right, so we're putting that last screw here. My friend spammed peach smash attacks. It annoyed me so much as a kid. Dude. How about, I used to always play Samus and do the blip, blip, blip with the bombs. <laughs> that shit was so annoying. What's up, John? Yoshi was annoying as fuck, dude. You want to know one of the worst freaking feelings is when you're on the edge and Yoshi goes Bleep! and he freaking poops you out as an egg over the edge and you die. Dude, that was the worst. Samus was my favorite. Everyone would sweat when my gun was dude, right? When it was blinking full charge. Is this color available in the GB or just a proto unit? So this color was actually voted on um, and did not get selected, sadly. So um, it's not gonna be available in the, uh, the actual run. Is it just me or is the JST piece not centered? Looks pretty, uh, pretty centered to me. Yoshi Kin, Yoshi Cajun, yo. We're gonna clean the booty real quick here. Yoshi noises are so hilarious, dude. Right? Yoshi had Yoshi had the 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 uh, the ramen dumpy, <laughs> like versus the bottom screw. Oh, you mean here? Like how there's a lip right here? Cause that's uh, it's supposed to be like that. 200 minutes and just missing keycaps. Fast build, dude, right? All right, check that out. Okay, let's see. How do we put this thing on? I've literally never done an encoder in my life. Oh, it's got a set screw. Okay, that's kind of cool. What is that? Is that an Allen? What Allen do we got here? Is this an Allen? Allen? Is that Philip or is that Allen? That would be Allen. Or is it not? What kind of screw is this? Hello? Mom? No, it's definitely Josh and Greg. This board go kind of hard. Dude, it really does. Where's your drink, my dude? I'm. Pr it's pretty much Friday. Dude! All right. Calling me out. Here we go. This is the last portion 
absolute last portion of the six soju bottles that Huru gave me a million years ago. So cheers. Someone send the Huru a screenshot because we just finished it. Chat, how long did he take on the rotary encoder? Not that long. Come on. No, but seriously, what kind of Camaro round two, please? Yo, what kind of screw is this? I don't see a head in there. Is there no screw in here? Maybe I got to put a screw in there. I think I got to put a screw in there, huh? I'm sorry, but the arrow nav knob look like a dude. Everyone keeps saying that. And I, I literally never thought that until you guys said it. <laughs> but, um, you're supposed to glue it on. Get out of here. This does not look like a peen. Get out. Do I put this screw on? No, that's too big. Hello? Hello? It's a mystery. Can we call Scoob? Scooby Dooby Doo? More like Jeff Bezos rocket. Shouldn't it just plop right onto the encoder? Yeah, but it just it falls off. See how it spins? Huru said he'll restock your soju. <laughs> right? <laughs> Mia board confirmed dude um so I was informed that I have I have officially been streaming for for a year since I became affiliate so I was gonna do a subathon but I think I'm gonna wait until a year there's supposed to be a set screw I thought so but there's not there is not a set screw in here is it in like a separate package normally the set screw is already within the encoder Should have had two rotary encoders instead of left and right arrows. Okay, bud. <laughs> Do you have sugar plum? I don't have sugar plum. Is that a GMK set? <laughs> but uh, I think I'm gonna do a subathon a year from partner, which I want to say I hit partner three months after I started streaming. So that was October. So we still have a little bit of time before a subathon. Who says more soju coming in hot? Yo. Blame Upas scuffed shipment. I would never blame him. Come on. Let me uh let me see. I have another encoder. Let me try. One sec. Ooh. I have a uh a ZT boards. This was like a proto knob so i think this set screw might work let's try it i think once you find the set screw it takes a 1.5 millimeter allen this one's a phillips let's try it out you should do a subathon when the causes get there yo that's a good idea i think i might do that well um the causes Hopefully we'll be here before my before my one year. Is this going in? No, it's too big. Hmm. I might have a screw. Hang on. Good thing I have a million screws. Bruh, I told John, uh, so people were telling me I should do, I should do a subathon to celebrate my one year of streaming. And John's like, Ryan, that's, that's not enough time to prepare. I was like, okay, John, I'm sorry. I won't talk about it again. Tape mod the encoder on. Yo. If you're going to get screwed, might as well be a massive. Yo. Dude, don't worry. Look at, look at, we're going to, we're going to get this situated. It's possible there's a nut in the hole already and you just need to put the hex key in. I tried. It didn't work. Well, come on. 
<laughs> a subathon is a subathon. There's no way anyone would care. All right. Uh, I think it looks like it's a um, looks like it's countersunk. So maybe one of these. I'm gonna go with this one. Dead gun it. I need to get my. Oh wait, maybe this. Nope. Get it again. So many fasteners, right? All right, let's try this out. Hey, hey, we are in business, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh -wee. Look it. Oh, we got it. We got it. Boom. Chuck Testa. All right. Quit screwing around, those pesky kids. Cool. Needs lube. <laughs> Perfect. Slap it, spit on it, bop it, twist it, flick it. <laughs> All right, so there we go. That looks pretty cool. Look at that. Dude, these switches look pretty dang fire on this board. This is a, this, honestly, this is a beautiful board. Make sure you screw it in on the flat side. Come on, DZ Slasher. I'm not that smooth brain. Give me, give me some credit. Can you moan just a bit while playing? Okay, bud. <laughs> this versus the Ibis. Um, I'm gonna do a typing test on this and a full comparison go over some stuff and then uh, I'll grab the Ibis at the end It's in my car, so it's gonna take me a while to go get it Did you guys take off the factory lube so these lavenders are um, Factory lubed right so these are completely stocked which in my opinion if you're using lavenders, that's completely fine That's the kind of the cool thing about lavenders is they're actually not bad stock so we do have a purple bottom as well. We have black top, purple bottom. This colorway, uh, for those asking, is not available in the group I. And shame on shame on you guys because uh, it was voted on and this color did not make it, which is crazy, right? Holy Upas with the side profile. Yeah, look at that. So it's like a koala and then an uptick there. That is super clean. Look at this, look at this Anno. It's almost like, it's so metallic. It's kind of crazy, right? Pretty cool. I've seen the gray, it's better. Yo. All right, let's put some caps on, yeah? Let me, actually, I'm gonna plug this in real quick. Make sure I did the, make sure I did the, uh, JST proper. Yeah, we're cool. All right. All right, so we are putting on GMK Vok, AKA Violet on Cream. Get 
Get some real estate back up here. Uh, the gray is actually fairly dark, almost black. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Serious question, stock switches, why? Um, so this is a Canon Keys board, right? So Canon Keys sent me this uh, to do a build stream and review. Um, they also sent me these switches. Um, and I think personally, lavenders are pretty damn good stock. Um, I almost would recommend not even messing with these if you did want. It's, it's, I would say if you did want to lube them, you need to make sure you remove the stock lube. Um, but these are by far some of the best switches to buy um, stock. Love the color scheme, yo. We have a wonky bottom row today for everyone, exactly. What switches do you like on a brass plate? Um, usually I, I go with tactiles on a brass plate, but I do want to try out these linears. I think I'm sold on putting labs in the Fuji 65 when it gets here. I think that would be a solid choice. All right, I need to, where is? All right. Damn, that is a thocky space bar. Woo. I didn't watch, um, I didn't watch uh, Diego's or APA or E stream too much. How did they, how did they end up sounding? Was it pretty good? Yeah, it was pretty good, but Apiary said it was pretty stiff. Ah, which plate did she have? Was it the brass plate? I watched Lightning, it sounds like a keyboard. <laughs> okay, bud. Brass as well? Okay. Well, brass isolation mounts. Um, I think if it's not stiff, there's a serious, serious issue. Lightning had FR4. Oh, interesting. All right. Uh, look at the dang thing. It's, of course, it's stiff. <laughs> uh, you don't like your red. Okay, bud. Dude, seriously, you guys need to get your mind out of the gutter. I still don't think it looks like that. Am I just, is, are my, are my thoughts just too, uh, too pure? Ryan is too pure for this problem. How can I get it out of the gutter when I live there? Oof, oof. Uh, so as a recap, we are building the balance by Canon Keys, right? So this is an f -less, compact 1800. My personal favorite layout for a work board. Um, the group buy starts tomorrow. So um, I would say if you are looking for this layout, definitely jump on it because boards of this layout do not come by very often. It's a five and a half degree typing angle. So I would say it's pretty much perfect. Um, not too flat, but definitely not so steep where you kind of get tired of typing on it for a while. Um, sadly, this color is not available in the group buy, but there are a ton of colors to choose from. So I'm sure you'll find one that you like. Uh, the front height is 15.7 millimeters, which is absolutely absurd. Perfect.
Cool. All right. Thank you, Canoe. You have done a great job. And let's get the rest of these. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nathan's back in here. <laughs> Ooh, this will actually look pretty freaking sick on here. I'm going to be using the, uh, I'm going to toss this Kiwi on there. I think that'll look pretty, pretty sweet. With Vok. Boom. Crushing it. Uh, we need step caps. Don't forget the 500 gram typing test. Oh shoot, you're right. <laughs> this dig leader is wild. I know, dude. I know. More bed boards. Yikes. There was no option for short sh right shift. Um, on the uh, on the brass plate, there was not. I don't know about any other plates. Is this Vok? It is indeed Vok. Yes. Vok looks so good in person too. Um, and there are going to be extra knobs available for this as well. If you guys want to check it out on Cannon Key's website. Oof, so sexy. I know, I know. I, th I feel like Vok is a, is a heavily slept on set. You don't see it too often. Dude, look at that. That's a butte. That is a butte. Looking good. My Cypher might get two brothers at this rate. Dude, Cypher's sick as well. Yo, visuals by Bueno. Subscribe for six months. What's up, dude? Long time no see. The Goyard God himself. What's up, man, dude? Cruising. Feels good to be back for sure. Need this board. Wow, if, is it, if it isn't the calf master himself, let's go, bud. <laughs> let's take a look here. That is, that's pretty spicy. I don't need this board, but I want it. If I did not have the Ibis, um, this, this would probably be my go-to work board. This is my absolute favorite layout. Considering I don't need an Efro. Hello, brother. What's up, dude? So we do have these purple accents here too, right? So these purple accents are um, replaceable. So they're going to be selling these accent kits where you can replace just that accent. So that'll be kind of cool. That's a sick view right there. You got the purple on the bottom, you got the purple accent, and the purple caps. We do have that cherry ledge right here, right? That's reducing the front height considerably, making it super comfy for all day work, because I'm sure you guys are gonna be working only on this board. Oof, look at that angle. That's the money shot right there. <laughs> this is gonna be my daily. Yo, Manoli, are you picking this board up? The group buy starts tomorrow. And we got Sheen Sheen. Ryan, tell him to bring back white and teal. Oh, is white and teal gone? So it looks like there's gonna be navy silver, black silver, gray lilac and then e white gold aluminum so the only kind of exotic colorway would be gray lilac which does look pretty sweet i almost feel like people kind of probably voted on these colors because they're all pretty um pretty modest colors maybe because people want to use these at work i don't know <laughs> but the iron man one 
that um, the Iron Man one that uh, Apiary built was a stunner. Same with this one. This is a stunner as well. Look at that. Is this board good for WoW? Will it make me very good at raiding? <laughs> I don't know. Oh! The Boom Queen herself. <laughs> Let's go. Check that out. Look at that side profile. Super sick. We do have the Kiwi on there as well. That Kiwi... I'll be honest with you guys. This Kiwi right now... This Kiwi right now... This was part of the fulfillment. Um, you can find them on Mech Market for like... Around 80 bucks from people. Um, I want to say fulfillment wasn't even that much cheaper. So... Uh, in my opinion, this is one of the best artisans for the buck right now. And it, and it kind of goes on any purple or blue board or even white board too. So, they're not that expensive and you get, I think it's a sick artisan. Anyway, that's just kind of my, my take on it at the moment. How'd the build go? Dude, it looked pretty, it, it went pretty fantastic. Uh, pretty easy board to build. Um, I have not done the typing test yet though. I'm going to make sure that uh, all the keys are working proper here. Give me a quick sec. This is how you do the most efficient form of testing keys. Boom. Cruising. Yep, buy mine. Yo, 80 buckaroos. That's not bad for an artisan, that's for sure. All right, anyways, I think it's time to do the test. So we do have, I'll do one more uh, quick... I'm gonna pause the music here. So, gotta test the knob too, man. Slow, get the frick out of town. You forgot to stroke the nav cluster. What? Oh, you're right, I didn't. There you go. <laughs> Can I play Minecraft on this board? There's not enough room to play Minecraft on this board. Come on, dude. You need a computer for that. <laughs> so, um, we do have a brass plate. So this is brass plate, it's isolation mount. So it's basically a sandwich with pour on gaskets on the top and the bottom. Um, so it's gonna be pretty stiff. It's probably gonna sound pretty good though. Um, we do have lavenders. So those are our uh, JWK lavenders. They come factory lubed pretty heavy, um, heavier than a lot of other switches I've noticed, um, which is good and bad. If you wanna use these in their stock form, I, I, would, almost, I would probably give it my seal of approval. Um, but uh, I still prefer lubed films and um, you know 205 grade zero linears. But if you want something that's kind of super, you know, um, plug and play, th these are going to be the switch, in my opinion. Um, but uh, we do have. Uh, lastly, we got a rotary encoder knob. They're going to have extras available on their uh, site as well, including like a PVD rainbow brass one. It looked like. Um, additionally, we do have GMK. Vok. So this is Violet on Cream. One of my favorite sets by uh, Senor Heine. Um, we do have Cherry Stabs in here as well. So nothing too crazy going on with the stabs either. So, alrighty. <laughs> nice arrow cluster. Dude, come on. All right, let's let's do the mods here. Space bar. Woo. So 
So I think I think my favorite would probably be the space bar as well as the enter. Super nice. Dude, these lavenders, I'm telling you, for stock switches are like if 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 someone asked me, would you ever do a build with stock switches like six months ago, a year ago, whatever, before lavenders came out, I would say, hell freaking no. But honestly, this is definitely more than passable for stock switches. 100 percent All right, here we go. Ready for the sound test. I think we're gonna try and do, let's see here. Can we get Vok on here? I think Vok is on here. Uh, 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 let's see. No? Oh, there. It actually is Bach. Is that too hard to see? That's pretty good. All right. Oh, did they ask you to use... Did they ask you to use stock? Uh, they, they provided the switches, which were stock. Yes. And stock pewters. Yeah, I would say my favorite tactile stock pewters. My favorite linear stock lavenders. This is, I think, <laughs> Lavender's a little bit too, or Vok is a little too hard to see. <laughs> Let's go, this one, I, I like 808. All right, here we go. too cold in here my I can't feel my hands <laughs> yo got he. I blame it on the um I blame it on the air conditioning being on okay if you good thing I didn't bet wow I know Shin Shin you would have you'd always bet for me to to to, to do better right <laughs> gotta be the seat height wow rude uh dude how did it sound though I hate this stream and betting the one time I believe I always bet high. It's not good to do drugs, Shin Shin. Come on, come on. Why do I always believe? Dude, cause you're a good guy. Sounds pretty good. Dude, it sounds pretty freaking fantastic, especially for stock switches. I'll do another 30 seconder while I warm up my hands. You guys know when I used to play Counter-Strike, I used to, um, I get cold hands and then I can't feel my fingers. Uh, and when I was very serious about playing Counter-Strike, I used to have a, a little hand heat, a mobile heater, and I kept it on my desk next to my mouse, mouse hand. <laughs> All right, here we go.
Okay, that was that was definitely decently better. Definitely decently better. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know he's a pro gamer. Dude, I wasn't even like that. I wasn't even that good at Counter Strike. I think I got to uh, I got to Eagle. I think that was the highest I got to. But um, enough to like care about winning, but not enough to like think I'm like super good. <laughs> but how does it sound? Um, what do you guys think? Pretty 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 spectacular for a stock switchboard. Cold hands, nice nickname. Yo. <laughs> Yo, Grinzel, thank you for the follow. Thinks Lil Stacks need to do practice runs like every other streamer? Dude, I probably should, huh? I don't know. I feel like people get mad at me when I do practice runs. Is it heavy? It's actually not heavy. So there's no there's no brass weight in here, right? So if you look at the bottom, it's just all aluminum. It is a pretty big board. It's a pretty big board, right? So it definitely has a little bit of heft to it. Um, let me get you a, a scale here, one sec. Oof, here we go. You must raw dog the typing test. See, everyone, everyone would get mad at me. <laughs> All right, so fully built. I know it's on a desk mat, four pounds, three ounces. Uh, for comparison's sake, we got four pounds, three ounces. Um, oof. The house. About four pounds. So that they're roughly roughly about the same weight. Roughly about the same weight. Um, if we wanted to compare that to a... Um, what else we have? Oh my god, the K is back freaking in Narnia. Or the uh, KFE. Ooh. Uh, if we compare that to... The Hefty Boy Trinity XT. Let's see here. <laughs> Six pounds, 11 ounces. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Damn, that green but botanical is bussin', dude, right? I, I honestly did not think it was gonna be a good match. Um, I didn't think it was gonna be a good match, but it ended up uh, turning out pretty, pretty spectacular. Anyways. Look at that. That's two pretty, pretty, pretty solidly color coordinated boards there. Bussin, bussin, bussin. Ah, uh, yes, the Rolex board. Yo. Now you just need to get novelties. Uh, I know, right? I do not have botanical novelties, sadly. I don't even want to know what they're going for these days either. So, but, uh, oof. Last little recap on this beauty. Um, so this is going into group by, let's take a look. Give me a, give me a, there we go. Let's pull it up here. So uh, you can view this on Cannon Key's website. It's up right now. Uh, obviously it says it's sold out because it's not going into effect until um, tomorrow, it looks like. Um, So it starts tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern and it'll go until August 13th. So it looks like it's gonna run for about two weeks. There are only a set amount available, right? So uh, there is a set amount. I would say if you are trying to go for this board, definitely get in on it early. The icon text caps is crazy ugly. This one here. Oh, you're talking about botanical round two. Yeah, I'm not the hugest fan about it. I prefer either text like this. Uh, these are my two preferences for uh, caps, right? You have normal mod. I'm okay with the Dixie mod. I'm in the middle, it's whatever. You do have the icon mods, and then you have text, and then you even have text with an icon mod, which I'm fine with. I think caps looks best with just caps or icon. I don't like icon and text on the caps, but it's not gonna set, it's not gonna stop me from buying a set, and who knows, and maybe it'll grow on me, but. I think I'm just too used to these ones at the moment. What do you mean you don't want the purse? Dude, the purse is pretty sick too. I, I remember the purse on um, on minimal. No, not minimal, uh, muted, muted, yeah. 
<laughs> Thank you for the follow. <laughs> I don't care if it's icon, but that caps ain't it, right? Um, I think I do owe you guys a leaf test. Do I still owe the leaf test or we're we gonna call it call it a day? Do I need to go get the, I feel like if I go get the Ibis, like half of you guys are gonna leave and I'm gonna come back and no one's gonna be here. <laughs> yes, he owes for leaf. All right, I'll do the leaf real quick. Do the leaf after grabbing the ibis. Do you really? I unlocked. All right. D you know what, Timmy? That's true. You spent your points. You want the ibis. I'm going to go get it. You know what I'll do? I'll do this. So you guys have something to look at while I'm grabbing the ibis. We'll do that. We'll do that. And then... Put, oh, I'll grab this. I'm just gonna grab boards that are in the in sight so you guys can look at that. Oof. While we wait. All right, there's my wallpaper for now. <laughs> I will go grab the Ibis. Give me, uh, it's gonna be about six minutes. Time me. a test donation for $39.
you freaking joking my ass? <laughs> what the frick was that? <laughs> Why are his emotes silent? Anyone know? Alerts? No, we got them fixed now. Raz fixed them, I think. <laughs> All right, let's clear the way, shall we? Whoa! Whoa! Ooh, that was a little bit close on that one. The ho the house almost hit the Abu. That would have been terrible. All right, put this up here, and then we got the ibis. That vertigo just got slapped. <laughs> I need to get a new desk so I can just leave keyboards out to display, dude. That'd be sick. Did you actually drive to your work to get the Ibis? No, I brought it home, but I left it in the car. So I just grabbed it from my car, but here it is. So this is the Heine Ibis. <laughs> this is the Heine Ibis with GMK Burgundy. Right, so this is my this is my dedicated work board right now. Uh, it pretty much does not leave my office. You can even see the Look at the shine on this space bar. I use this board every day in the office, right? Um, it is an F row. It's basically the exact same layout. Um, but instead of having this void right here, um, Upas looks like he shifted this down and then put a rotary encoder um, up top. We do have a wind keyless as well over here, whereas this is a. Uh, full board I'm gonna show you the booties on the back so this one has a, a stainless steel brass weight on the inside attached to two stainless steel weights that drop through no hongo for burgundy uh, I don't I used to have it I don't anymore So this is the Heine Ibis. Um, I know he's gonna be running it pretty soon in the future here. So definitely join his server if you're interested in this board. But, uh, but yeah, this is my dedicated work board right now. All right, here is your typing test that you redeemed. Good sir, busy Timmy. All right, so this is a aluminum plate. We got an aluminum plate. We have um, vintage blacks. No, retooled. These are retooled blacks, aluminum plate, um, 205 grade zero TX65 gram springs, right?
Oof, just sounds pretty damn solid and smooth if you ask me. <laughs> I'm pogging. Those actually sound kind of, these are very smooth. Yeah, listen, listen to this. Those are re those are retool black. These might be as smooth as an ink. You're right. These are extremely smooth retool blacks. All right, that is the ibis for comparison. All right. Oof. Are we still doing the leaf test? Or are we cutting it close? Four hours. I think maybe we push the least leaf to the next next stream. What do you guys think? Boo. <laughs> Leaf test now. All right, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Ryan got to say next stream, then take a three-week break. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, we are, the prediction's are already up. All right. All right, I have to do it now then. All right, <laughs> grab a drink before the test. I need you tipsy. <sighs> Where do you store your keyboards at home? Do you have a shelf? I have a shelf over here with like um, a couple Laser Ninja uh, stands as well as some Geon stands. All right, here we go. This is the 300 gram springs. Oh God, I haven't typed on this thing in freaking ages. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm putting some music on so you don't have to listen to my heavy breathing. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Holy. Dude, I'm so, my stamina is gone. was the over under was it close what was the over under Ow. oh shit okay damn okay all right at least it was close at least it was dude you know what i'm gonna bring this board so i'm bringing this board to teha subathon tomorrow so you guys are gonna see this on his subathon i'm gonna make him do a typing test Okay, third loss, yikes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll try, I'll, tr I'll do better. I'll just do better next time. All right, <sighs> one last look here. Third loss of the night. Candy Keys balance, gets my stamp of approval. Sick layout, sick knob, what more could you ask for? Group by starts tomorrow, let's go. What color am I getting? Oof, 
I I I think uh, I think gray with the with the lilac is still is still sick. Even though it's not black with lilac, I think the gray lilac is pretty cool. So, anyways, who should we raid? Who I would raid uh I would raid uh, Shin Shin, but she's uh, clearly not still streaming. Is is uh, is T Pain still streaming? Please tell me T Pain is streaming. He sure is. He sure freaking is. <laughs> We're raiding T Pain. <laughs> we are raiding T Pain. <laughs> Yo, that could be with the tier one for ten months and Mike with the two months. What up, Mike? Woot, Keebs, yay! I haven't been able to catch a stream in a bit. I missed you, yo. All right, we're we're raiding T Pain. Hopefully, he calls me Lil Fax again, like last time. <laughs> if you hit the W key, I'll sub. What's the W do? Is this gonna end my stream? <laughs> Lil thanks. Yo, eat, skeet, skeet, mother trucker. Let's go with the prime. Let's go, buddy. All right, we are raiding T Pain. What should we hit him with? What should we hit him? Do we, should we make T Pain say Kaze? Should we should we make T Pain say Kaze so lit? Do you think he'll do it? Told you, you are a man of your word, eat, skeet. I hope, I hope, I hope T Pain says Kaze. Let's do Kaze so lit. <laughs> there we go. He's gonna be like, what the frick is Kaze, little little thanks. <laughs> All right. Anyways, hope you guys like the board. Definitely check out the group buy tomorrow, starting tomorrow on Cannon Keys, open for two weeks. While supplies last, definitely get in early. So uh, on that note, I will be um, hopefully on Teja's stream tomorrow night. So I'll see you guys there. Um, and then we'll be uh, streaming next week. So <laughs> anyways, John, see ya, see ya, Shin Shin. <laughs> John, take him away.